Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein we've got 69% nice done on productivity 5. Uh, mining productivity, that is. And... Uh, let's see. Last time we got iridium flowing. We also added an awful lot of basic metal smelting. Um, although currently... Well, I was going to say currently we're a bit short on pyroflux, but it's actually looking a lot better. Um, probably because we've been bringing in a lot more vulcanite, although iron up here is a bit short. But we do have uh, iron and copper smelting without pyroflux as a backup. Um, I've got that on low priority. I've actually kind of got one iron to three copper for the basic smelting at the moment. We'll see if that's sufficient or how long that lasts. We do have a massive backlog of um, iron ingots to go through if we are behind. Because I kind of forgot about this block uh, for quite a long time, actually. Um, but yeah. We've pushed, uh, we've put a bit too much strain onto some of our bottlenecks. And now we're having material shortages, or maybe we've just about finished catching up with the material shortages. Uh, how's cargo rocket sections have just arrived, actually, uh, back on Granis. So we'll soon be getting a load of Vulcanite core fragments again. Very nice. And I'm not entirely sure what to do right now, actually. If I'm totally honest. Are there any of these blocks that I've forgotten to mark? Because I noticed a couple. Zaiden. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's see. In orbit, we just started spamming space rail. We've got... Including the freebies. 1.1k uh, space rail. So that's probably enough for... What? A single... It's just under one single rail block. Um, I need to make... I need to make a blueprint. Oh, what a glorious sight. There's our rocket ready to go. Bit sleepy today, but not enough sleep last night and can't wait to play again. Fantastic. At least the last part. Um, let's jump into the editor. And I want... Our standard rail block... And I want to convert it to space rail. Game to relax. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, can we even put wind turbines in space? I should think not. I could maybe squeeze some regular solar panels in there, but it's going to be such a short time before... I mean, we've already actually researched um, uh, flat solar panels, I think. Yeah, we just haven't done the production chains for them. Um, we've already got the technology for flat solar panels, so I don't think I want to put in 3x3 three three solar panels. Uh-oh. Is this because my inventory is a different size when I go to the editor? I think that might be it. That should help. Uh, but yeah. Um, I would like to have some... 
some regular, uh, some solar panels just wherever we expand the rail blocks. But I don't think we're going to find up, uh, come up with a good way to expand it for later, whereby we add pylon substations to cover the whole thing. They're going to be like here, 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 and one in the middle, maybe. So they're going to have full coverage. Uh, I think we'll just move the solar panels when it comes to that. For now, I'd like the blueprint to have tier 1 flat solar panels connected to all of the big electric poles. Andy Gaming, I am this guy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wasn't expecting the 1 a.m. stream, but forgot clocks moved back. 1 a.m., damn. Uh, I guess that works for some people, though. Um, can I just... I can't, like, overwrite these. That would be a bit too easy. The signals are going to stay the same. Oh, look at that. I think it was going to put in regular rail there. Yeah, that was going to put in regular rail. But then the second time I did it, it was space rail. I wonder why that is. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's remove straight rail. That's going to be the easiest to replace. And over here as well. And over here. Uh, and now we have to do the rest of it. Uh, also, there's some more straight rail in there that we didn't quite catch. So why don't we just do it this way? Shouldn't be too hard to replace the rest. Um, and we can see where the curved rail is going to go. Yes, I hope. Oh, the signals are going to make it easier. Definitely. The signals are going to make it a lot easier to retrace our steps here. Fantastic. Space blocks, indeed. I was going to say, is there a universe where I change these a little bit, make them a bit bigger, so we could fit the big, uh, the huge tanks where we haven't quite been able to fit them before, but this is going to line up with our grid on the ground as well, uh, because of the way the space elevators work. So, that's a no. We're not going to be able to do that. We're not, we're not changing it at this point in the playthrough. Seems good. Whoop, not like that. And... Seems good. I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, that, that looks correct. Except I think we're missing a little bit on two sides. We need this corner, we need this corner, and we need its equal and opposite over here. So I'm glad I double-checked that. 
some of the machines get huge, indeed. Make it a bit bigger. It's big enough to fit two um, uh, wide area beacons in the same block. I'm happy with that. Besides, like I said, it's going to line up with... Uh, with the rail blocks below, so we're not changing it. Um, I could perhaps... Make a copy of this. Select new contents. Uh, I need it to be the middle, though. Oh, where's the middle? Let's find out. This is 18, so this is 9, so this is the middle. And this goes here. Um, I guess I could probably just copy paste at this stage. Mine's nearly four times as big. Yeah, mine was bigger last playthrough. We're going for something smaller this time. Why we cannot upgrade from regular rail to space grail with upgrade planner feels bad, man. Yeah, it's a little bit of a of a pain. Oh, that pause though. There we go. And one more. And that should line up perfectly with our regular rail block. So let's blueprint this sucker. Um, let me just instead make a copy. Get this crap out of our inventory. Let's make sure there's room for things. Uh, let's see. I'm going to create a copy of this. It's going to go... Probably up here, to be honest. Wait, is that a whole book? That's not what I meant to copy. I'll just put it here to be sure in case something's missing. Uh, but it looks okay. This is what we want to create a copy of. And we're just going to change that symbol to space rail. And that one to flat solar panels. Cool. And then... Make a version of this where... If the game ever catches up. Wait, what? That's the wrong... Oh, did I not actually up update the contents? Budgie bum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Get up to much today. Uh, we're going to be getting up to space rail blocks. So, yes, I guess. Uh, beep, beep, beep. Good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I need to select new contents for this. Make sure we've got all that. And... That's actually correct now. Okay. And then we're going to take our block, add our default input and output stations, and probably add the bare minimum of scaffolding. Oh, can I even do that here? I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Hmm. Uh, in that case... Okay, so here's our middle. These two right here. 
that's where the signals are going to go. Like so. Do we do that in the usual? Yeah, we actually do. It's probably more signals than we need if we don't double it up. But whatever. And we want to have bulk rail loader. Oh, I'll need to make a new blueprint for this as well. This goes back here. This goes here. And I th is that all of it? Yeah, it is. That doesn't look right. Wait, what? Why does... Why does the graphic have regular rail, but this one... Bruh. That's gonna bug me a little bit. Uh... There's no space rail graphic version. Alright. Let's move these down a bit, I think. Whoops. Uh, create copy. Select new contents. Oh, the graphic isn't showing. That's fine. Can I not, like... Something's wrong there. Oh, right, we can't select new contents with this. I forgot. Okay. Blueprint. Station. Uh, I think the way I named it was like this. Two bulk loaders. And... Don't care about the train stop names for this one. That should be fine. I need like 12 roboports to cover my blocks and I have to downsize my smeltery array for it. Just use multiple blocks, I guess. Uh, let's see, bulk rail unloader. These ones at least are going to look normal. Uh, and then... It's, it's bugging me that this is, like, rotated. I can't do select new contents, though, because bulk rail loaders. Whatever. It's just called unloaders. Rail... I mean, train stop. Skip this one. Two times unloader. Seems good. Oh, I should probably change this symbol to show that we're using space rail. There we go. Lalkin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, Malcolm. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's put our bulk loader here. Pretend that we can't see that bit of regular looking rail. Especially since the other three are going to look normal. And this is actually backward. Okay, cool. Uh, unloaders... Loaders, that's the wrong one. Um, standard pickup, standard drop off, requester, and that's going to be our default rail block. 
Okay, so what did I call this? Default IO. Don't remember what the symbols looked like though. Train stop names, yes. Uh, we need the snap to grid. Big pole, power source, rail type. Big pole, power source, rail type. And the snap to grid is 86, 25, and 1. Seems good. Um, and we won't be able to place this stuff without some scaffolding. But I might just see what the bare minimum of scaffolding to get this started is. And then redo the blueprint after that when we build it in space. It's probably the plan, indeed. Okay, once the game catches up with the gratuitous train repathing, we'll be able to start placing some blueprints. And back we go to the main game. 72% on Mining Prod 5. Fantastic. Um, now we checked yesterday by using pings to give coordinates. Uh, we've found that the... This is approximately zero, zero. This, uh... This tag that came with the game. Uh, and our moon base... Uh, moon base? Our orbital base is actually significantly to the left, uh, to the the northwest of that zero zero. This is it here. So there's no overlap at the moment with our orbital base and the main base that we've been making on the ground. I do want to do a much more planned uh, rail, uh, rail grid layout this time, but for now it should be fine if we temporarily build some stuff up over here to the left compared to where our main base is, because the thing is the, um, well, that's bigger than I thought. This whole thing fits in one rail block, this whole spaghetti mess so far. Um, so yeah, let's let's make a start over this way, I suppose. We'll definitely have to add some scaffolding to make the solar panels fit. And how many roboports do we have? 25, fantastic. Oh, I guess the big poles need scaffolding as well. So that'll be the first thing that we lay out here. And the distance between these poles... Looks like this. I think it goes here. Nope, that's one off. And then here. Oh, that doesn't include the scaffolding. Oh, God damn it! Include the damn tiles. There we go. And 
that should be all we need to make the poles reach. We would also like to have some solar panels as we expand. Uh, that one doesn't have... the measurement here. You should check out the mod that was released in the last couple of days that allows LTN to work through SE elevators. Perhaps we will. Um, so yeah, at the moment I just want to build this out. Actually, make that a big pole. And, whoops, blueprint, tiles, minus these ones. Uh, we're just gonna lay something out here so that the bots can get to building. I'm hoping this construction, uh, construction mode Roboport in the middle is going to be able to reach everything. But definitely one of our early priorities here is going to be setting up a construction train. And I should probably head up there myself if it makes anything slightly easier to, uh, to plan out. Is that not... I guess it's not powered, is it? Um, let's go with... If I blueprint that again... Over here... Looks like it will have a connection. Our very first space rail block starting to take shape. Dark Camo, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We should get some better prods up here. Make our science go further. We need 12. 12 is not a whole lot. That's as good an excuse as any to go into space. Um, and I'll just take as little as possible this time. Did we get our Vulcanite delivered yet? We did. Fantastic. Um, Alright, let me go ahead and empty most of my inventory. I guess I could take a few cargo wagons up. They're not exactly stack dense though compared to making them on the spot. Um, take a few combinators and bots. Why not? Signal transmitter. Uh, none of this is any good upstairs anyway. Oh, maybe I should... We've probably already got delivery cannons up there. Uh, chests, that is. Yeah, we do. So I'll drop those off for now. Uh, we want to take the prods. Maybe some speed modules as well. While we're at it. Won't be needing cliff explosives. I'll hold on to the power armor. Alright, may as well get some speed modules while we're at it. 
That's actually quite a few. Uh, I don't want to go overboard with this right now. Since they're kind of precious on the ground as well for the moment. And give me a space capsule. We're going to need some cargo rocket sections. Gonna need even more cargo rocket sections. And some fuel. Even more fuel than that. Even more fuel than that, really? Hundred and forty two out of a hundred and forty three. Amazing. Uh give me some more then. Okay. And for some reason we actually only need ten cargo rocket sections at the moment. Um uh, alright, I think this will probably do. Do we have life support in here? We don't. Um, I've got life support upstairs. Plenty of life support, actually. It's fine. Let's go to Hagen Orbit. Drop off some modules. Improve our science. So we're looking at... Where's that life support? I thought it was here somewhere. How much life support do I have? Zero. Uh-oh. 140 until I start suffocating. Let's find some. Life support. Alternatively, I could just minimize the time I spend outside of a vehicle. There we go. Okay, so... Rock modules. We're going from plus 36% to plus 48% productivity. That's not insignificant. That's a pretty big chunk off of our overall costs. We do have RDSS uh, coming from down below now. That's nice. And I think I'll just park myself in here for the moment. Uh, anything I want to do that would be easier to do directly over here? Probably. Um, let's see. We need a power pole. Do we have the bot coverage? It might actually not be any easier to do something directly here. At least for the moment. Boovim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So many cargo sections here. Send them down. How many are here? Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever sent them back down. That's a good point. Cargo rocket section 1.8k. That might help a little bit. Just just a wee tad. I don't suppose delivery cannons can send cargo rocket sections. That would be way too easy. Do we even have them here? I don't think so. I mean, I could make one, but... This is the cannon that I always look to to double check these things. Yeah, we can't send cargo rocket section by cannon. Um, we'd need to make liquid rocket fuel up here. And that's a whole problem. We need a little bit of iron. And we need light oil. Um... We've been sending heavy oil and petroleum. 
it would be a bit of a waste to crack the heavy to light. What are the alternatives? Uh, liquid rocket fuel, solid rocket fuel, uh, oxygen, ammonia. That's not going to be any easier in space. Oh wait, we've already got solid rocket fuel up here, right? Because we need it for science. Oh, thank goodness for that. Wait, where, it, where even is it, though? I know we've got it. Um, I could have sworn we should have it. Let's check the auto resupply. Lazy science resupply. There's rocket fuel here. We're missing one cargo rocket section to load this thing up again. Okay. Literally just one off. Um... We've got cargo rocket sections here. Hmm. I don't want to link those robo networks. That would make bad things happen. Then again, if I link it for just a moment, a bot is going to bring... It's actually only going to bring packed cargo rocket sections. Oh, there aren't any packed. They're all in here. Hmm. Hmm. We've got a whole bunch of packed in here. Uh, thanks for hanging out, Zaiden. Take care. I'll be in line. Bajiba, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, that reminds me. Um, I think we got a name in base or two that we need to add in. Bajibum, Yatuwatu, and Big Clown. Okay. Bajibum. Probably over on the left. Yatuwatu. And last but not least, big clown. That seems okay, I think. We'll, we'll see what it looks like. Once our bots catch up. I only left two of them here, for some reason. Who knows when they're going to go for this bee. There it is. That looks okay, I think. Okay. Um, so solid rocket fuel isn't getting sent up. Let me just double check. We've... Uh, why did I change this? Well, we've still got some stone at least. Okay. Um, ten times... Wait, did I think there was a more efficient way to send up solid rocket fuel? Considering it's made of fluid, I don't think so. Not at this stage. I really don't know why I changed this. Okay. Um, stack size is 10, right? 10 times 500 is 5,000, actually. We don't need a calculator for that. And for stone, uh, make sure we have 5k as well, I guess. Plenty of Vulcanite blocks as well. Alright. Do I need to... Oh, it's already sorted itself out. 
Fantastic. And just in time for the solid rocket fuel signal as well. Cool, cool, cool. Do we have a cargo rocket section up here? A cargo... No, we don't. Uh, what is it made from? Should I make it up here? That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Um, how about... Hmm. Oh, I already wish I was back down on the ground. To move some things around. Do we have some assembly machines? We don't. Um... If I change the request stack threshold to 1, I could request a cargo a cargo rocket silo. We may as well bring up a pad as well. Make it 5. And we'll drop the request stack threshold for the moment. So there should be a train shed. Wow, okay. That just opened the floodgates for smaller deliveries. Um, hopefully there's going to be a train scheduled to bring five of the landing pads and cargo rocket silos. But I'm not holding my breath with that many trains scheduled. This is actually really not working out. Damn it, the rocket already launched and I didn't even send up a cargo landing pad. Or rather, cargo rocket silo. Maybe I should just make one. I'm sure we've got everything we need up here, right? Oh, and it crashed. Good. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Um... Let's see if we can just make it on the spot. Steel, iron, concrete... Processing unit, big electric, and radar. Uh, I would say so, but it's going to be a bit of a nuisance. Have you added to Hagen Orbit to request it? Not yet. I was just trying to get it physically delivered over there first. Um, but with this insanity, I think we're definitely just going to put that back where it was. What are the con- oh, right, of course. The construction bots are picking all this up. Well, there's no penalty for having lots of construction bots, so let's add some more. Do we have any lying around? We actually have 200 construction bots in chests somewhere. Let me out. There we go. Make sure we don't have any more. There's some in here. Uh, we can just leave those in there, I think. So now they're going to be a lot faster picking up all that mess and even building some stuff. Uh, that's not going to reach, is it? Science go burr. Ah, 
Um, I guess I could give them a hand with this. That'll make it a bit easier. On the construction bots, at least. I can't even mouse over that one. The bots sorted it out, though. Okay, so we need... Cargo... Rocket section... Uh, 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 cargo... What is it called? Cargo rocket silo. We need radars to make that happen. Um, let's just put a requester and see how much we've already got. We've actually got everything but the radars. And for the radars, we're going to need automation cores. Automation core, iron stick, copper plate, iron gear wheel. Iron stick, copper plate, iron gear wheel. We don't have the stick or the gear wheels. Okay. Uh, how about here? plate. And that should hopefully be everything that we need to get some cargo rocket silos. How many more steel chests do we have? Uh, enough for two, looks like. Right then. And once we do get that sorted, we're going to need... Uh, can we make the liquid rocket fuel up here? I hope so. Yeah, it looks like we can. That was an assumption to make, though. So we're going to have cargo rocket silo about here. A fuel refinery. Just connect it straight to it. This thing's going to have one purpose. We've also got 28 space capsules we've saved up here so far. This was just to check something, I think. And put that away for now. Uh, we've already made all of the labs we're going to make for a little while. It's still moving steel, even though we've already got almost double what we need. Just hasn't put in any of the other ingredients, this inserter. Now it's going to do the same thing for concrete. Uh, could you perhaps not do that, actually? It's going to take so long. To do this automatically. And we finally noticed we don't have storage tanks. Okay. Storage tank needs iron beams. Iron beam. Iron plate. And 
that should be that. Okay. And I want to do a really small, simple loading system here. So this is just going to be to send cargo rocket sections and space capsules back. Um, I do want to leave a few behind, just in case. Say, enough for two rocket launches. Let's do some buffer chests. I want to put two conditions on the buffer chests. I think I can do that, actually. Without any combinators. Um, we can just go circuit network condition and logistic network condition. Alright, capsule goes here. Cargo rocket section goes here. Do we have this thing built yet? We do. Fantastic. Here it comes. Alright, so we're going to say... Um, if space capsule... Less than... Do I even care if it fills it up with space capsules? Probably not. In this case, I'm not going to need a circuit wire condition for this one. But I do want a logistic network condition. A space capsule greater than... Say, two. And... Cargo rocket section greater than 200. Um... There's no way we're going to put 500... Why was that filtered? That's weird. Is this just by default now? It might be. Um, there's no way we're going to fill this up with 500 space capsules. So I don't have to worry about that logic. But we should probably say... Actually, I will do a circuit network condition for these two, which is what I meant to do. This was supposed to be a um, logistic network condition. Cargo rocket section greater than 200. Circuit network condition is space capsule greater than zero. Just to make sure we put that in before we fill the whole thing with cargo rocket sections. Um, so which of those is false? I think it's... They should both be true. Space capsule 25. Uh, I mean, I meant to look for cargo rocket section. 1.8k. All right. Uh, oh, right, these two say this. Uh, I got it backwards again. God damn it. Okay, space capsule. Greater than zero. And cargo rocket section. Greater than... Let's check that's working. Greater than 200. Cool, cool, cool. So once there's a space capsule, uh, this will be enabled with circuit condition. And if we've got uh, at least 200 cargo rocket sections in case we want to launch it, in case we want a couple of spare launches for some other purpose, um, we'll hold on to those. Why not send Pact back to surface? 
Uh, that's probably a good idea, actually. Um, in that case... For this one, forget the logistic network condition. Capsule less than 100. And we'll empty that out. shouldn't have a condition. Wait, wait, wait. Logistic network. We have to have two space capsules left. That's fine. Okay. So this one only checks if there's still at least a couple of space capsules left in the logistic network. And this one just checks if we have 100 cargo rocket sections. Oh, these are going around in circles right now. Let's put a stop to that for the moment. And decon that for now. Or I could just put a filter on this. Or both. Okay, the main thing is I want that empty for the moment. Fantastic. Um, I need to make a fuel refinery, gear, advanced, uh, electronic circuit, pipe steel. So iron, steel, and green circuit, if I want to handcraft, which I do. Iron plate. Where be iron plate? Why do we have the same symbols for everything? Probably because it's mostly barrels in here. Are we not recycling the barrels? Oh, we are, but this is full. Okay. And then... Where can I get some iron? Surprisingly difficult to find. There's the steel. Okay, fine. We're, done. We're gonna factory search it. It's way down here. Okay, so we need one fuel refinery, I think, is probably way more than enough. You have 24k barrels, indeed. We're going to be making liquid rocket fuel. Uh, request. Solid rocket fuel. And then... Uh, let's see. Assembler of the space variety. Last inserter. Packed cargo rocket section. Solid rocket fuel. Uh, cargo rocket section. And I don't want... I want the same condition on this. As I was thinking of over here. So I want to keep... Hmm... Should be okay. Or I could bring this over here. That might make more sense. Then I have, don't have to worry about the the two different two different chests for the cargo rocket sections. Oops. Could you stop for a second? If 
cargo, rocket section, greater than 200, pack them, and if rocket is ready to launch, start packing them. And for this one, Uh, if cargo rocket section less than 100. Cool. Don't know why this solid. Ro oh, this needs a filter. Uh, let's see. Filter. Wait, wait, what? No, god damn it. Filter insert a cargo rocket section. Hold up. Why would I have this inserter here? Um. No, that's right. Because. Oh, goddammit. Because this is regular cargo rocket sections. This is packed. Fraser K. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Orbit base today. Yes, indeed. Uh, we are just getting around to sending back copious cargo rocket sections uh, back to the ground. And I suppose we could send the cargo pods back as well. That's actually part of making the cargo rocket sections, isn't it? Yeah. Although, the stack size... Uh, let's just get these out of the way just once. Then again, how do we have just 12 of them? Not 20. That's two stacks. I think I'll just ignore them for now. 1.6k, holy? Yeah, we haven't got around to sending them back just yet. Why is this still making liquid rocket fuel if this is already full. I guess there's like an invisible container here. Oh, there it goes. It's filling up. Alright, cool. So, 1800 over 5 is 360. That doesn't even fill a whole cargo rocket, actually. Um... So if I want to be super efficient, I should wait until that's full. That's going to be a while. Meanwhile, on the ground, we're probably lacking some cargo rocket sections. So I think I will send it back. And I'm going to need a landing pad. I could just take advantage of whatever empty landing pad we have with the rules that I've got set up here. But it's not like I can get this thing to target any landing pad. Um, Vulcanite core fragment is often empty. But that's, that's a really bad way to do it. We've already got um, some more landing pads over here though, don't we? So let's just use one of these. I guess I could just send it to any landing pad with a default name. With the way I'm doing this, it'll get itself sorted out. Now the only question is, do I send these back already? Speed module it? What, the, uh, the packer? It's already, like, one-fifth of the way done, but sure. Okay, how's this build coming along? How do you not have power? Oh, I see. This goes here, this goes here, this goes here. 
I should just build the rest myself. It might be easier. Space rail is where we expect it to be, I suppose. It's holmium that we're short on. We're not short on holmium. Oh, it's plastic that we're short on. What the hell? Uh, let's see. Did we not request plastic? We didn't yet request plastic. Okay. Plastic. Uh, 50k. And do we already have plastic here? We do not. Get a couple of train loads in here. There should be plenty of storage because we're phasing out certain resources. Uh, iron and copper without the... Oh, I haven't actually emptied it though. Did I do steel as well? No, we're still we're still sending steel as plate, but I don't know that we have that many ingots yet. Oh, we do. Okay. Um, there should be some steel ingots. Oh, we've got tons of steel ingots. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's stop sending steel as plate and send it as ingots instead. Much, much, much more stack density. Uh, where's the requester? Here it is. Steel. Can you not mess up my UI with the autosave? Thank you. Uh, and that means we'll need a machine to empty uh, to make steel out of ingots. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, do I still have some construction bots? I do now. Let's have a look over here. Uh, oh, it's rail that we're placing. Seems good. That's actually the end of our rail for the moment, because we don't have the holmium. Uh, no, we don't have the plastic, rather. It should be enough to place the blueprint, though. Let's get this other stuff sorted out first. And stop using up our life support. Space rail seems rather expensive. It's not that expensive. Um, it's one holmium cable per rail, one steel per rail, and 1% of an energy catalog per rail. It's not that bad. How much more rail do we need? 135, two recipes. Just a little bit of plastic is all we're looking for. It's actually like 200 plastic. 
Did we get our plastic here? We did. Fantastic. Ironically, we need the cargo rocket sections. Um, is that train okay? Uh, it's this issue again. I ended up asking for too much from the mall. Okay. Maybe I should, like, divide what we seem to have available here by two or something. The rare metals got there, so we're just waiting on this glass. Do we not have glass? Glass is just catching up. Is this not switched on? We're short on sand as well. Uh, seems like we're short on stone, perhaps. There's a problem with the stone, with the rail. What's happened here? You're trying to go here, you're trying to pick up stuff. Oh, not this again. Okay. Greater than 50. We just haven't updated all of our stations this way. So this uh, cargo wagon was never getting anything. I would have thought at worst it would just be slower, but that's not how it happened. So we're just telling it Make sure there's a stack of stone before you push it to the other um, bulk rail loader. So that there's time to push it into the cargo wagon. Let's update our blueprint for that while we're at it. So, lazy mine. I think I need to have some, some stuff here, to, some ore to pick up before I can place this down. Didn't paste the settings from bottom left stone miner? From the bottom left stone miner. Do you mean onto it? Three are fine. True. Thank you. There we go. Okay. So we just want to add... Uh, it should probably be... Anything, actually. False when there are no inputs. Anything greater than 50. And then we select new contents. And that's our mine. Even though you can't see it, it does have the, uh, uh, the bulk rail loaders. Wait, does it? It does, but I don't trust that. Uh, let's see, 18, 34, 2, and 2, snap to grid relative. And I don't remember what the train stop name was. Let's... Why did it set it to absolute? There we go. Train stop name, that's fine. Okay, so once there's 50, it'll start pushing it to the other station. Seems good. Oh, to the other bulk rail loader, rather. 
and that goes here. I'm a potato. Fascinating. Hilarious. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, looks like we've caught up over here. So... I'm definitely going to send this back early. I might even ride it back home myself. Um, but before I go... Well, we're not getting that plastic up here for a minute. Until we can launch a rocket. So we may as well go ahead and... Uh, leave this here as well. Hop back in. 55. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And let's confirm that this is going to go somewhere where it's all going to work. I'm pretty sure it does. Away we go. Back to Hagen. To one of the unnamed landing pads where everything is going to go to the trash train. Uh, which is going to be on its way already and we can ride that back to the mall. Once it actually gets here. There we go. It'll have to come back for another trip. But that's okay. So these will find their way back to... Uh, Lazy Science Resupply. We'll launch our plastic, among other things. And that'll be that. What should we build next? I wonder. Oh yeah, I was going to add a drop-off for crushed imacite over here. What is this for? Oh, that was from the old mine. Alright, that's two reasons to go over there and tidy this up. Let's wait till the bots catch up giving us stuff, and I might even take the construction train. There isn't really somewhere to park it. Let's just fly over for the moment. That's almost everything in our requests. old mine. Get rid of this and that. I could make this a dual drop-off. That would be a pretty simple way to go about it. It's currently requesting a couple of trainloads of raw imacite. If I put filters on these... A raw imacite. And then... Where is this even going to fit? This is an unusual layout. I guess it doesn't really even matter. Um, 
instead of putting the filters here, we're going to put the filters here. Draw Immersite. And crushed Immersite can go here. And... Those substations are just barely in the way. I could move them up a tile. And for the sake of symmetry, that doesn't actually go anywhere. Never mind. It's still pretty tidy. So I'm just going to have... Raw Immersite. I mean, sorry, crushed Immersite. Find its way down here. And over here. Crushed Immersite. Stack size 100. We'll ask for a couple of train loads. And without really changing anything, we've now made our existing Immersite processing block able to deal with uh, raw or crushed emosite as an input from the rail block. Some unpowered inserters after moving the substations. Uh-oh. Ruh-roh. Um... Mm, it's the ones on the side. How about... Just this one. Put this here. That's got an underground in the way already. God damn it. Um, I really just want to put it on the existing belt. As opposed to snaking it around. Hmm. I could swap these around. And just bring this down here. And act like we didn't see that. So then crushed Immersite finds its way in here, filters out this way. And that'll just about do it. Just take it down a bit further and merge it where there is space. Or that. Yeah, this is pretty tidy. Especially if you don't look too closely over here. Cool. So that's our Immersium Sulfide. And that's our Immersium Powder. And that's our Immersite crystals, and Immersite plates. And Immersite god knows what else. Fantastic. Uh, theoretically, I might need to add more of these so it can deal with more than this going at full speed, but in practice, for the moment, that is far from the truth. Okay, let's fill out this rail block as well. Haven't tidied up that old mine up there yet. Wait for inactivity. One train stuck at Holmium Pickup. Call me and pick up. Two at raw emersite pick up. It's not this one. Raw emersite. Oh, this one? It's probably the same problem as always. Wait.
we'll run out of places where this error could still exist as we go. And now that we've updated the... Um... Oh, there's a miner missing up here. Let's fix that as well. And substation. It's still going to take its time running out, actually. Uh, so you said Tormium pickup two at raw imasite pickup. Do we even have a raw imasite mine that's still active on this planet? Uh, I don't know, but we've got a bunch of trains stuck up here. Let's fix that as well. Greater than zero is actually good enough. Huh, maybe I should do that. Let's just check this works. It seems to. It didn't even seem like I needed to do anything just now, but the train did appear to be stuck. Oh yeah, there it goes. Check the like, yellow light at the station. Okay. Do you mean where we were just down here? One of these ones? Oh, it's because it's empty. Oh, it, there's very nearly nothing left to pick up here. Looks like there's already a train waiting for it as well. And that's been stopping a bunch of copper from being picked up this whole time. I want to see what it looks like with anything greater than zero. Nope. Too slow. This one's got plenty, it's not going to make a difference. Or is it? There we go. That should be all of those functional. And our Immersite mine is Dunsky. we just mark it for Decon. So I can at least see that that's done. Yay, indeed. Okay, back up to the Uranium. Everything seems to be okay. Is this train getting loaded slower, though? Is what I'm curious of. It doesn't look like it. Uh, or at least it's definitely not getting loaded very slowly. Then again, if I use the everything signal, true when there are no inputs, it would mean we don't end up with a little bit of stuff stuck here forever at the end. And everything greater than did seem to work before. Probably because there's momentarily one item in here and it stops, and then there's one item in here and it stops, and it somehow piles up. I don't know. This one's looking rather sad. Okay. Did we get some plastic upstairs yet? We did. Which means we get more space rail. We we've already got several stacks of space rail, actually. Cool. Uh, let's put this on construction mode. And see what kind of range... Doesn't have power? Oh, I turned that off. There we go. It's still not enough. I 
Why are those mines getting dismantled? Because they're done. They're empty. Koha, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. So I think the first thing I want to do in the rail block system in space is build a mall, just like we do on our outposts. Uh, maybe we'll have landing pad there. We'll definitely have auto crafter. Yeah, probably landing pad, auto crafter, uh, loader for construction train, return to mall stuff. And maybe even the cargo rocket for sending back cargo rocket sections. But I'd like to do it neat and tidy. Time for some lurking. Alright, take care. Thanks for the lurk. And what's all this? Oh, it's just working. Okay, cool. It is just working. It kind of prioritizes processing uh, the crushed imasite because of the shape of the belts, but that's probably fine. Let's update these as well before we have problems. Fantastic. And this one we did the old fashioned way. Uh, we need to drop the ride threshold on this to get rid of the last of it. This train... This should actually be working just fine. Yep, there it goes. Alright. Space rail. Before I go building a mall or something, I, I want to, like, finalize these, uh, blueprints. With the scaffolding included. I guess we could do that already. At least for the main version. Select new contents. And we're going to remove all of these. Uh, we are going to include tiles, but it looks like I can't remove the tiles under the stuff. So maybe you could do it this way. It's a little hard to see what we're doing, but not that bad. Cool. That should be it. And then we need our default pickup and drop off version. Which is going to need some scaffolding to make the stations and constant combinators. And bulk rail loaders slash unloaders work. I'm not sure exactly how much we need, but I think we can just add it and then remove it when we're done. For this stage of the game, scaffolding is a little bit precious. Oh, we can actually see exactly where that fits. 
Nice. Okay. Bulk rail loader. Or oh, unloader, rather. And one here. We need a LTN stop. Well, that's a regular stop. No, I, I still can't place it here. Logistic train stop. Invalid train stop position. Why is that? Let's just place more scaffolding, I guess. Dioka, D hose. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Power pole top right. Never mind. Did I fix it? Alright. LTM train stop. Why can't I place this? What? Oh, is it because of the signaling? Maybe. I don't think we actually need... Uh, scaffolding for the train stops. No, we do. Cannot build on empty space. Invalid train stop position. Okay, cool. Should be some more signals on the way. And I still can't place it? Oh, I think I understand why. Um, it's because... It's because this rail isn't connected over here. And that made it look off with the signaling. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the middle. Actually, I do want to minimize the scaffolding. I'm just assuming one train stop in. Here it comes. Nope, that's not it. What a tease. Do we even have any? Train stop. We have regular train stops. Okay. Again with the production chain. Should have dropped off some logistic train stops at some point. Oh yeah, I was going to send this... I did send it back down already. Uh, let's see. Logistic train stop. I need lamp. I need green wire. I need red wire. The map. There we go. We've already got copper cable, at least temporarily. Cool. And then train stop. Uh, most of that should be fairly straightforward, at least. is iron stick. Okay. And we need constant company. Okay. Don't we have those? Surely we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, request uh, right here. Constant. Combinator. And 
and all of a sudden we have train stops. Fantastic. Okay, so now that that's actually placed, we can put this here. This would go here. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That doesn't seem like it's in the middle. I don't think it is in the middle. It's not. Okay. Goes there. Um, and I think it was like five tiles out from where the wind turbines were. So, yeah, nine from here. That's better. That's more like it. Good eye hacks. Thank you. Guy clicking. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and let's put in bulk rail unloaders. Then start removing all the excess uh, scaffolding. I think this is scaffolding. Yeah, it is. Let's wait till they actually place the unloaders. Which we don't have. Okay. Perfect. Good. Fantastic. Good day, indeed. Bulk rail loader, bulk rail unloader. We actually need regular rail here. Which... Uh, I believe we do have. Is it the same ingredients? It is. Fantastic. Okay. Loader. Unloader. And we hurried up. It's putting in three times the iron plate that's needed before it puts in other stuff. We don't have any more gears. spaceship floor. Uh, whatever amount of scaffolding happens to be extra. Which didn't quite uh, line up the way that I thought it would. Interesting. So, same thing down here. Did I just copy-paste that, actually? How about just the tiles? Yeah, let's do that. So it should be the same for the bulk rail loader. 
Isn't that strange? Yeah, a little bit. Especially because this is 6x, this is 5x as well. You know what? I think that, um... I think that's going to bother me a little bit. I think we'll pretend that we needed the 6x on both sides. Ultimately, I'd like to fill this all out uh, anyway, but might look a bit neater. Okay, train stop. It won't even let us put it here for the moment. Oh, now it does, if there's a ghost. Much better, indeed. And then... I'll crayon loader. It's actually looking really weird. This goes here. And this goes here. Must be a bit scary running a train on rails with no scaffolding. Looking out and down in black space. Good thing they're not driven by, uh, by living drivers. Oh, uh, we're going to need some scaffolding just here to fit the, uh, the constant combinator as well. We're also going to need room for some power. Uh, lighted substation. Well, we always change where we put that, so I think I'll just leave it out for the blueprint. Okay. Standard requester. Standard pickup. And then we'll trim this stuff out of the blueprint. And that'll be that. Actually, it might even be easier to do it this way. gone. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so we're gonna say LCCL block default I.O. Gotta have to, I, I need to make a new blueprint. Also, that seems to go extra far. Okay, so that's not part of it. That's it. Let's give it the same symbols and stuff. I can remember. 86.25.1 is the snap to. And then flat solar and space rail. Cool. That's going to make it nice and easy to make new blocks as we get going. Hello, I am the ground. Indeed. Fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. So now that we have these blueprints, um, let's actually start making a mole. 
One of the loaders has regular rail. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Um, the bulk rail unloaders, you can't see it just because of the, the design. Um, this one just doesn't happen to show regular rail because it's um, it's like hidden behind the space rail because of the way it lines up. Um, but these two bulk loaders are exactly the same. There isn't a space rail version. That is wacky, right? Yeah, if you look at it, it actually says bulk rail loader rail, strangely enough. That would have caused so many headaches, yeah. Okay, so how much scaffolding do we have spare? 4.6k? Wait, can we make the better... Uh, what is it called? Scaffolding is under logistics. Here it is. I don't think we have the technology to make the nice... Um, Floor right now, do we? Research, scaffolding. We actually need material one before we can make space platform plating. And heavy girders. So it'll be a minute before we upgrade our mall to be a bit nicer. Um, but I definitely want... The very least this much filled out in the mall. In fact, let's bring it up so it's a square. Can I not make that bigger? Oh, right, it's copy paste. Literally unplayable, indeed. Not Steel Mage. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are our resources looking? There's no... There's no... There's no copper? I beg to differ. Well, maybe. Are we really not keeping up? How's our power? Power's okay. I can't believe there's no copper ore. Uh, there's plenty of enriched copper, but not so much uh, pyroflux necessarily. How's the vulcanite? Vulcanite is not so good. Because cargo rocket sections are not so good. Because... Probably traces back to red circuits are not so good. Yep. Again with the red circuits. They're actually missing electronic components now. Um, we really need those better prod modules, but for that we need a million vulcanite. And we keep going round in circles with these problems. Uh, but electronic components are actually missing silicon, which is missing quartz, which is missing sand. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um... Hmm. So we're actually short on stone, question mark? We, we did just fix some stone mines a little while ago, but it looks like our stone is still a bit too slow. Is this one okay? Yeah, it's just... it's just loading the train. A little slower than I would have expected. Oh! Wait, no. I don't see anything going through here. 
might be the settings on this a little bit. Okay, I guess we need yet another stone mine. Or seven. Um, more core fragment processing would help as well. We get stone and sand out of that. There was a better electric component recipe that you wanted to implement. That's so. Electronic component. Whoops. Uh, I need left click. Uh, this does ring a bell. Plastic, glass, silicon. And there's a fourth input, right? Plastic, glass, silicon, lithium. Which we've got. Do we have the actual recipe, though? Uh, let's see. Hold up. Where's the mole? I think we do have it. Electronic... We do not. Electronic components... Uh, energy one, and it only costs a hundred. Let's go. How much more research till we finish mining prod five, though? Not much-ish. Well, it's actually like hundreds. So why don't we put that off for just a moment and probably smash through this research. We've definitely already got enough energy science. So once that's done, we can update that recipe. I should also put some prod modules in it. Even if they're just prod ones. But we should also be looking for some more stone. No beacon on labs? I mean, they're going to be bottlenecked on resources, so it doesn't really matter. Also, I don't think we even can put uh, regular beacons in space. At least, we couldn't last playthrough. Um, so we don't have any prod 3s. I'd need to bring over Vulcanite blocks for that. I think we'll just do what we usually do in this situation and take some prod 1s. Oh, this only fits two as well. Let's fix that. And I should have... There we go. Module inserter. Fantastic. 11% on the new recipe. Very good. Uh, I could go and double this while we're at it. Just get ahead of possibly bottlenecking on this build. So let's get ourselves a unloader. Copy these settings. Immediately connect that. And copy, paste, flip. Gonna need a 4x4. Four four. And we're gonna need to bring the outputs together. How fast is this? It's actually 41 electronic components per second. Don't know what happened here. So it's a bit under one blue belt. How about... How about we do it like this? Oh, that's... that's belt weaving. That's a sin. Ok... 
Can the auto inserters handle like 80 items per second? I'm thinking probably not. And also while we're at it, we could make this accessible to short trains. Um, limit that to one cargo wagon. Only if we have 4,000 in the back. And I guess we'll just. I kind of want to bring those up tiles. And this could go over here. Make it blue, why not? Individual machines should still be pretty slow. Very slow indeed. Did I misread the rate from this? 41.7 per second. I didn't. Okay. Let's go with... Nothing but blue belt. That didn't lay out the way I thought it would. And same thing on this side. Copy, paste, flip. So then we can just have a pair of belts. That's not going to be quite right. Going down here. Let's bring the construction train into this. Nearly caught you belt weaving, indeed. Okay. Did I not? There we go. Uh, and we should probably link that as well. I guess it didn't cause any harm this time. Either way. That red wire going all the way across there is bugging me. There we go. And are we not requesting? Oh, we are requesting the lithium. How has it not been delivered yet, though? I would have thought... Oh. oh, it's sand, isn't it? No, it is... Chlorine output is full. Oh. Well then. Um... Did I prioritize this? I did not. Where else do we drop off chlorine? Uh, I don't know if we do have a requester for chlorine. Anywhere. Let's have a look. Oh, I need the train layout. These are just all the schedules right now. Chlorine. Can I search? I can search. Uh, I don't think we have a single requester for specifically chlorine. So... We need to bring it back here. And I'm honestly tempted for the moment to just pump it over. 
Uh, how would I do it if it was somewhere else? Like, how would I do it with rail alone? It would be kind of messy. Let's just pump it over this time. Coin was for rare metals, I think. Oh, for mining rare metals? Yeah. But nothing consistent in the production chain. Um, that I know of. That just consumes chlorine directly. So let's just pump it back here and turn it into hydrogen chloride, I guess. For the moment. I'll need a pump. So that if that doesn't look tacky and clearly temporary, I don't know what does. Uh, Boot Fighter, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's only going to put it into the one storage tank. Yeah, so now we're able to make more lithium. Um, I could have these two share, but like, bad things will happen when trains come sometimes. So I think instead... We'll do it like this. It's going to be a little bit awkward. So that's 200k of storage for chlorine uh, for this that we just gained. And more importantly, connected it up uh, for it to get where it's going. Oh, we just took l more lithium to space as well, so this wasn't the only consumer. Okay. Uh, let's get more prods, because apparently I didn't pick up enough. 76% on the new recipe. actually getting done fairly quickly. And uh, I need another assembly machine. Well, this one. I'm just going to change recipe, copy paste the recipe um, when the time comes so that we don't drop all this stuff on the ground. Don't forget this bit belt. Media destroyed. Fantastic. Uh, so until that's done, let's focus on mining some more stone directly. If we can find it. 2.6 mil way over here. Um, I'll put that down as a maybe. I'm sure we'll be grabbing it eventually. 1.4 down here. Crude oil looks kind of like stone. A little bit. That's copper. We've actually got an, an obscene amount of copper and iron available on this planet. With, that is also 1.9 mil stone, but it's kind of far. 2.8. I think we're just going to have to... That's another one. I think we're just going to have to drag our rail out further than we would like at this point. That's half a mil... I think we should add some more core mining drills as well, because that'll give us a trickle of precious stone. Two and one mil. 
kind of next to each other over here. I might go for those. That's also 1.9. Okay. I think this general direction is where we're going to go for stone right now. Um, but first, where's the nearest coal mining drill that we're not exploiting? This stone mine is actually empty, so this is perfect. Apparently I had that switched off for the moment. Not sure why. Uh, that's two coal mining drills, three coal mining drills quite close by that we're not exploiting just yet. Here's another one. How much power do we have spare? Quite a lot. I think we should go for it. Oh, and there's our recipes. Or, there's our new recipe, I should say. Let's go... 10 by electronic components. That is a lot more efficient. That's going to help. And there goes the lithium. Beautiful. There's a mining drill side bottom left of the rail grid by the long roundabout. Do you mean this one? Wait, mining drill? Side bottom left of the grid. Oh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've actually got quite a few to choose from. Let's go pick up some core mining drills and the usual stuff and accumulator or 10. And accumulators. Do I not have accumulators requested? I guess not. Probably... I was going to say I probably should, but... Inventory does get kind of cluttered sometimes. Oh, here we go. I completely forgot about this at-scale production. Vrakfall, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can't you use the factory search to find patches of stone too? Uh, I don't think so. Stone as entity? As... Whoa, whoa, okay. Uh, I think it did find all of the stone in all of the rocks on the whole planet. Which took a surprisingly shoo... Wow, okay. That's, uh, that's a lot. Okay. And it actually counts the whole patch for us. That's incredible. Well, this is all of the stone on the planet that we haven't mined up yet. But, um, there's so many options that it... There's actually a bit of stone I missed under this rail. Bruh. 19k. Does it sort by distance? It might sort by distance. That's awesome. 3.2 million over here. Okay. Well, let's do our drills first. Um, the closest one was inside the rail network. It says the distance on the tooltip. Nice. Too bad it didn't work for worms, right? Alright, drill number one. Uh, let's finish this rail block. And do the usual loader station. That 
it's backward. And a substation. And an accumulator. And a circuit wire. And we have to be mostly full. And then stand pickup. Um, it can be a bit imbalanced with this, but it's literally from an infinite source, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Rocket Tom, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. And for two months as well. Thank you so much. Is that... all of the core drills on this side of the rail base? There's one here that we've actually tapped already. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, there's one in a very awkward spot down here. Let's go get the one next to that old stone mine. Near the old messy mall. Can I post a link? Factory search mod author won't enable finding biters. But link to mod that'll do it instead. Uh, sure. Is it exclamation mark? There we go. Now then. Looks like our stone is gone. Let's uh, pick all this up. Just don't don't waste a cliff explosive. God damn it. Uh, I guess we could. Oh, we're gonna have to put this down first. Otherwise, yeah, we can't really fit that the way I would have loved. This goes straight down from. Oh, never mind. We might have to change this later. That's okay. Delivery cannon chest. Belt. And substation. Accumulator. Stop at 80%. And now we just run some power to it. Oh, look at that. And then... Just like before... Standard pickup. The solids. And Wadunski. How's our power looking? It's fine. These things only use 25 megawatt. Which is like literally half of what they used to require. Let's go do this one over here as well. How much are we getting per drill now? Only 5.6. So we're well and truly starting to get into diminishing returns here. Let's pick up this old mine while we're at it. actually so many entities it's taking a moment to do. And 
and I kind of wanted to see how this rail block fits. Yeah, we could do the left side of something here without even really being in the way. That should be the middle. Yeah, that's right. Very convenient. Uh, so we need a substation and an accumulator and accumulator charge greater than 80%. And away it goes. We're down to 4.7 more fragments per second per drill. Currently getting... Uh, about 1, 1.6, 1.7k per minute. Or even dipping into 1.8. It's surprisingly inconsistent on a second-to-second -second basis. Uh, but let's just double-check. We're able to deal with 1.92k per minute. So we could still benefit from another drill or two, at least. Let's go get this one done, because I want to see how neat we can make it. So the idea is rail block here and here. What are we bonking? That's a nice wind farm you have there. Thank you. Ran out of rail up here. True. Let's get the construction train to pay it a visit. Build that rail block while we're at it. What are my bots doing? They're behaving very strangely. My inventory's not full, however... What? What are you doing? I can't even... Okay, I turned off my robopot and they went away, but if I turn them back on... I think I see the problem. Okay. They're trying to blow up the core miner hole. Yeah, even though there's a core miner on top of it. Okay. So... I'm thinking... We keep this. And this, and not this, where's our train, can you not go any further, wait for inactivity, mostly going to be complete.
Each drill we add means it's easier for the trains to keep up with each individual coal mining drill. But not overall. Okay, head up this way after you're finished up there. And that should finish building the whole block. I'm going to go get some rail of my own. Oh, media defenses are popping off. Uh, where's our rail? There it is. Fantastic. Get this stone out of my inventory. And away we go. LSF, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, bots go burn. Um, I think the rail here is going to have to just do something like this. And we'll change this bit up. It's not like it can turn around fast enough if it goes like that. Let's just build out the rest of these blocks and then we'll have a peek. Construction train pretty much got its job done over there. Am I not carrying steel beams? Oh, I see. Yep. more rail. Didn't bring enough signals for this nonsense either. Okay. So we can pretty much have a normal block up here. Kind of. I doubt we'll have two, tra two train stations here, but maybe we could fit it. Um, but we do have to consider where the pickup for the core drill is going to go. So I think... Let's see if we can fit that there. A pair of pickup stations. Okay, that does fit, and this doesn't quite fit if this is going to connect up here, I think. Unless... I could just remove that signal... That could be a section. The train here would have to wait for that one to leave. And I think that would be okay, actually. Yeah, that'll work. That's about as tidy as we could have pulled this off, I think. Can I not 
line this up. There we go. Uh, and this one would be for input output for this frail block. unfortunate. That's not so bad. Let's get a substation and can we still have, can probably still put those big power poles in the usual spot. Where am I? There we go. And as usual... Stop if accumulated charge is below 80%. Is there a valid path to that enriched iron now that long roundabout is gone? Uh, yep. I would say so. Did you mean down here? There's definitely a path to that. To this station? A train could turn around at this roundabout and come in here, or here, or here. Well, not the top actually. I think it'd, it'd have to come in... Um... Because it, it can't go through here, right? It could go through these two. But then that would be if... If there's no double station here. Let's bring the construction train back. Inactivity, I said inactivity. Uh, there's a pretty easy way to find out, actually. Just grab train and control. It can find a path in here. Yeah, it'll just use this roundabout. And then when it leaves, that should be fine. In fact, let's prove it with our construction train. Although, we won't get it to go as far as the drop-off. Um, give me some signals. I'll go place some of those. If they're still missing. What if there were some stations in the block path? Yeah, we'll see. So where is it going to go? It's going to go through all of this. Um, if I add... Well, it's a little awkward, but I could add a path through here. That might actually be the way to go. So, coming from the left, this is permitted, and then to leave, uh, to leave is a problem? No, to leave it could go here. Wait, does it even have, there's a bit of a corner missing. So it could go up this way, over here, and leave. That should be okay. What a beautiful mess. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Does this draw power when it's not working? Whatever. 
Right, we're down to 4.36 per second for each core mining drill. We've got uh, 32 per second or 1.92k per minute that we can process. And uh, production. Granite core fragment, we're looking at. It's just barely dipping into 1.9k sometimes. So we're pretty much at our limit. Uh, I do need still to set this up as a provider. I didn't give them names. Oh no. Bad. Finite core fragment provider. There we go. Uh, hopefully the other ones aren't in use right this second. This one doesn't have a constant combinator. Where was it? Pretty much straight northwest. It felt so spaghetti and they are one tile. Does this make the rail mess? Uh, tag Tagliatelle. If that's a kind of faster, then I imagine possibly. Uh, did we add this drill? We did. It's not in use right now. Let's update the station name. Oh, and then we got a delivery. Huh. Was that a coincidence? Uh, this one as well. And hopefully we don't have any more default passive provider station names out there. It's like wide spaghetti? Okay. Let's go decon this while we're still here. Um, I'm sure we're not getting that much more stone out of... Well, we're getting a little bit of everything, so that's bound to help. But I'm sure it doesn't add up to too much stone. Oh, 96 per minute. 1.6 per second. That is pretty slow. And that's the best case scenario. I haven't put prods in here yet, though. If I did, I'd probably have to double this. Uh, but yeah, now that we've got a few more coal mining drills. There's one here that's really close by, but I just don't want to deal with this particular headache right now. This one is a little bit out of the way. We are getting deeper into diminishing returns. We didn't actually add that much power consumption, though. So... Maybe I should keep adding four drills. Okay. Let's go to the middle of our base. You have seven out of nine drills for the nice square number. Seven out of nine? This whole thing is still sitting around. Let's fix that. Oh, actually, we've got bots that'll automatically put all of this away. So why don't we get out of range and then just queue that up? That'll do. All the old stuff. Give us some fishies as well. 
Oh, the water's green. Okay, let's head to our mall. And then I would like to search for stone. See where the closest is. I'll almost definitely go up this way, though. There's like... What is it? Two... There's like five million stone in this area that we can pick up. Another 1.1 up there as well. Why not add some more construction bots to your name in base network? I guess I could. But it's all the way over there. Um... Oh yeah, I was going to search for stone. Refresh. That does take a moment to find all the stone on the planet. 200 meters, 440 meters, 1 kilometer, 980. A hundred stone. 156k. Yeah, this is a really good tool. Okay, let's go get that stone. Um, drive the construction train over. Let me go get some more rail for myself first. start over here. This is going to be a whole process. So let's get the highway this way. That's a pretty big iron mine. 20 million. It's going to be right on top of a rail grid eventually, but I think we'll just do it like this. I'll just remove those for the moment, actually. Don't need all this. Why didn't I just use the highway blueprint here? Okay, where's our train? We need to drive it manually. So our personal roboports will build the trap as we move. Maybe pick up the stone you used to pave the ground. It's not that much. I think the three meter was closer to existing rail. Three million. Uh, well, we're getting like five million out of these three, so that'll be okay. It's also higher throughput. actually not taking as long as I would have thought. Three million was at the top end of the base. Okay. Yeah, it didn't have that much area though. And we do need three foot to catch up with the lack of stone that we've had. Is this thing actually... Oh, I see. It's my personal rail. 
That's not right by parts. You can never have too many mines, I suppose. mines. That's going to be kind of in the way. I guess I could keep going this way for the other two. And this one. Like this. Is that actually as far as the red belt reaches? Is that full coverage? We're like one off. That seems a good. Except that the train wouldn't be able to leave. Can I not fit this? I can. I love the idea of Factorio, but I always get stuck. How so? And if we come off the roundabout, the two-way is built into it. Not for everyone? Sure it isn't. Literally everyone. There we go. We've actually got power already. So that's cool. Uh, and we set this to anything greater than 50. Yeah, that's fine. Although, I do foresee a little bit of stone getting stuck on the belt at the end, but that's probably okay. Now, if we have highway going over here... We can go get these other stone mines. Wallace and Gromit go. Fantastic. Shavath, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. A couple more big power poles and then we turn left. Just stop here and plan this out. So we got a couple of lazy mines. Let's just go up there. I actually went too far for the moment. And let's do some more drills. Like this. Should have full coverage, I think. Yep. And that's actually not going to work. How about on this side? Could just move these out a bit, but it's fine. And a couple more drills up here. And over here, because why not? I'm 
Okay, that should work. Now let's do the belt. The belt? The rail. Let's do the rail. Might move this particular power pole. Just a little bit. And then... This one... Like so. I think I got too far ahead of my bots there. One should never be scared to tear things down. Oh, definitely. Use left-hand drive, but what makes you think it's correct side? Uh, apart from just being used to it myself, I like the signals being in the middle, as opposed to sticking out the side. Oops. And there we go. Let's get rid of these signals, put in some shiny new ones. And like so. That should be enough. Alright, on to the next one, if we've still got enough material. Which I suspect we don't. We might even fit all of that under one lazy mine. I think I'll make it fit under one lazy mine. Cool. Uh, and then rail... Go down here. And once again, it looks like the power pole might be in the way. Whoops. Okay. Away we go. Get rid of all of this. signals. But honestly, this should already be okay. Bots are a bit confused because the train cargo wagon is full, probably. This one, yep. have any more big power poles. Let's see if we've got some more back here. I'll also take that stone off your hands. And big power poles. Up we go. It's already working. Now how about this? Uh, it looks like this... Yep, yep, yep. Fantastic. I was going to say, it has already enough stone uh, to trigger a train delivery. I see a yellow light, which, which means LTN already has something on the way. And I click on it, and I do not see trains saying no path. Which means they should be able to get all the way here and back. Going to bother with station names? Uh... 
it's already got big mining drill provider. That's close enough, as far as I'm concerned. The blueprint is called Lazy Mine, so what do you think? Alright, let's bring our train up here, and it should be able to pass home. Fantastic. Stone train is already on the way back. There's already a train headed for this one as well. Cool. You forgot some belts. Uh, true. True, true, true. Unfortunately true. Let's do some undergrounds. And down here. I think I'll just take the taxi back for that one. We hijacky the taxi, uh, taxi, and zoom over here as fast as we can. Well, almost as fast as we can, I guess. If we had fewer sections on the stream. Hello. Read logistic network cont Oh, did I decon all of the storages? Well, there's your problem. Now they'll put stuff into the storage and that'll get requested over here. Since we're just requesting the entire logistic network contents to this chest. Okay, we are here. Drills are functioning. And back we go. And right after we check that all these other ones are working. That we didn't make a similar mistake. That doesn't have a loader. Huh. That's not the kind of mistake I was expecting. The rest of these look okay. Alright, let's... We'd have to go all the way back here. I think I'll just fly over and come back to the train. Top right at the mine, your at has no loader as well. Fascinating. Is that in the blueprint? And if so, how did it not happen over here? I think it probably isn't in the blueprint. And I was just a bit careless dragging the belts. Because it'll overwrite it. Also, is that one facing the right way? There we go. Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's the end of yesterday's stream. Can I ask why mining stone? Because that's the bottleneck we're on right now. Uh, traces back to... Uh, not being able to get circuits actually traces back to not getting enough stone at this point. Because we're not getting silicon, which needs sand. Um, but we did get some space rail. Oh, I haven't re-expanded the uh, robot network over here. Uh, let me just put it here instead. Actually, that won't quite reach. There we go. Base is getting kind of big, though. 
We can still see it all on one screen, basically. Everything that's on this surface. So it's not that big yet. But it'll get there. Without even trying, really. That purple on the map bothers me a little bit. Let's get that done. And what's this? Prod modules. Prod 3s. Uh, do we have any more Prod 3s? We do not. We've probably got Vulcanite blocks because it takes a lot to trigger a train delivery. I can steal from there. Let's get some more prod modules. Give to me... That was only four blocks, actually. Four stacks of Vulcanite. I'm just going to pour all of this into prod modules. And we've got plenty of metal for the moment. So I'm not as worried about Pyroflux. Okay. So there's our Prod 3s. We only get 4 per stack of Vulcanite blocks. Which I think is completely insane to be honest. Uh, we need how many to finish our Iridite build? Uh, 13. That's not a whole lot. Meanwhile, we've got crushed Iridite. We've got... We don't have Iridium Powder. Because we don't have Cadian Iron Beads. Because we don't have Vulcanite Blocks, which I just stole. So Iridite is very much bottled on Vulcanite. Um, I guess we could pour more resources into getting Vulcanite Core Fragments, but we're already just bottlenecked on cargo rocket sections to get the Vulcanite Core Fragments. It's not like going over there and making more drills is going to help. Um, so really we just keep focusing on fixing our bottlenecks over here. Um, I doubt we're going to need more silicon production. How fast is this? 27 per second? This new build can consume 21 per second. Assuming we have the sand to make the quartz. Is there another way to make quartz? Uh, nope. Literally, that's the only way. We need one more prod 3, and then I can make sure we get maximum prod on the Vulcanite. Not Vulcanite, the stuff that depends on the Vulcanite. I should prod the Vulcanite as well, as a priority. Prod 3, that is. Because we're, we're bottlenecked on resources for Vulcanite, and Vulcanite gives us prod 3s. So, there's that. I might just wait, turn this off for a sec. I'll take as many, uh... How many is this going to be? 15 times 4 plus 20... Oh, sorry, 30, 50... Something like 55 times 4 over 200 prod 3s. So I should be able to prod up the Vulcanite build. Well, definitely the core fragment processing. What's the stack size for regular Vulcanite? Uh, 
Where is it? It's only 20. God, that's horrible. Need to go deeper into the hole? What? Where did all those packed sections from orbit go? Back into the system. Um, we've only got... 180 cargo rocket sections left. Uh, I sent what we did have back down stairs into one of these uh, default name Hagen landing pads, which means everything went back to here, which means it went back to the mall. Uh, they've already been moved from the mall, so they've gone back into... Oh my goodness. Um, they've gone back into other cargo rockets, which are not looking so hot. These ones are fine. What the hell? Oh, I guess because I prioritized them. Well, I'm glad... I'm, I'm actually glad Water Ice, at least, is totally ready to go. Uh, with two and a half extra... at least two and a half extra cargo rockets full of ice, because I do not want to bottleneck on water on this planet again. Um, but yeah, as usual these days, no rocket control units for cargo rocket sections. Oh, rocket control units are getting made, so there's that. Not at full speed, though. I believe red circuits are still waiting on electronic components, which is waiting on silicon which is waiting on sand, which is waiting on stone. Actually, silicon is going full speed at the moment. And it looks like it's actually uh, belt bottlenecked. Technically it shouldn't be, but inserters onto belts um, can be a bit weird. Considering we've got a loader down here, I'm really not sure how that's happening. We've... Oh, I see. Nope, I'm totally sure how that's happening. Cool, cool, cool. So how much sand does this go through? 114 per second. That's a lot. That's like 48. That's a blue belt of stone. Alright, how many prods do we have now? 44. Maybe I should focus on prod moduling... ...the stuff that the cargo rockets depend on? Especially everything that leads to rocket control units. I could just go ham with prod 2s. That is an option. Although I haven't set it up to accumulate a lot of prod 2s. Um, how many... For a block like this... 4 times 96, so like uh, 400, basically. I think that's the wise decision at the moment. Um, prod 2 less than 500. But the ratio here is actually 1 to 1. So as long as we've got Vulcanite blocks, we won't accumulate prod 2s. How fast is it going through this? I think... I'll leave some Vulcanite blocks here. We do want some Prod 3s, but... I think for most of our builds, at this stage, we should just go for Prod 2s. Because we can actually get that done. I can keep up. What materials do you need for Rocket Section? Uh, all of them, I think. Quite a lot. 
Uh, where is our... Here it is. Let's give him some... Vulcanite. Get those beads. Get that... Uh, get our first Iridium ingots. We've got plenty of, uh... Enriched Vulcanite and Pyroflux over here, at least. Here comes our first blast cake. What does it need? 20. Are you able to swap to the better rocket section recipe soon? I don't think so. I think that needs barrel. Cargo, rocket section. Uh, beryllium plate. That's like... I think it's the only, like relatively low level exotic resource that we don't have yet. There's four, right? Vulcanite, Cryonite, Iridite, Holmium, and Beryllium. I think there's five. We could go to the asteroid belt for it. I imagine that would be a nightmare uh, at this stage of the game. We do have Achilles with a hundred percent biter threat. 9,000 radius. It is very close to Hagen. Um, we've got copper on Muir, which has no biters. Huge radius. That's going to be amazing later on. 8,800 radius copper planet just practically right next door. Rare metals from Hyperion. We're already getting Iridite from Gibil. We've got tiny moons for iron ore. It's not that exciting. We've already got the best planet for Cryonite. Oh, this is Beryl Core Fragments. Radius 905, No green or Vita or something? Oh yeah, Vita Melange. It's not really a metal. It's like uh, spicy plants or something. We do have that in the solar system as well. Um, but yeah, we do have Beryl. So which core fragments don't we have in our own solar system? Um, we've got Nalvis, of course. Copper, iron... We don't have stone, which is, ironically, I never would have looked twice at a stone or fragment planet before this run. Uh, but we do have Crynite, Vulcanite, Iridium, Holmium, and Beryl, and Vitamelange. Uh, theoretically, we could get all the way to needing to go out to get um, Naquium without ever le uh, leaving the solar system. Since when did they remove the old Pog emote? And why do I feel old? Uh, I believe it was because the person that Pog Champ was based on posted cringe. Like, the kind that gets you in a lot of trouble. What's this missing? Oh, the, pro uh, the tier 3 prods. Let's go get those. And I should really put them in for Vulcanite as well. Where am I? Oh, it's over this way. We got 92 prod frames. Hopefully that'll last at least two seconds. I definitely want those for Vulcanite. 
Oh, these are twos. Wait, no, they're ones. Where was I going to put these? Oh, yeah, yeah. Priority was supposed to be the erudite, but that kind of depends on vulcanite as well. So if I can't prod three the vulcanite, it doesn't help as much. We've still got 35. Uh, seven. We're running out. No! I'd better put a... Whatchamacallit? A module inserter... Plan over here. Otherwise... I'm gonna not notice that it needs to be improved. So how's our silicon? Not fast enough? I think we should probably double this now, right? I don't know, I don't see any sand in here at the moment, so it seems like we're not keeping up. If it's about to run out of input, then a second build would definitely not help. But prod twos and then doubling it would probably help. So let's do that. Where are we going? Up here? Uh, module inserter might be faster. Let's go with... What's this called again? Filtration plant. Filtration plant and prod twos. Electric furnace. And prod twos. And apparently I'm not carrying the prod twos. Whoops. How many do I actually need? Let's count. Decon ghosts. That's not how this works. Uh, 96, actually. Do we have 96? We don't have any because of what I said earlier. Um, because the ratio is uh, one to one. How fast is this? 39 per minute, and I need hundreds, wasn't it? Let's see. 96, okay. I should probably make a proper block for doing sand. Trying to expand this got a bit spaghettified. We should also probably prod module the sand while we're at it. But I think it would probably be okay to put another one of these here. Let's get our construction train to do what it can. It probably doesn't have these machines because we don't build those very often. Okay, this is the only time I'm going to say it. Cut it out with that kind of discussion here. This is not what we come here for. How many prod twos do we have? Zero? Wait, no, I see 18. I'll come back here in a minute. We do have the filtration plants, but not the uh, electric furnaces. Because I think this is literally the only reason to build them at this point. Furnace. Whoops. 
electric furnace. There we go. In storage. Uh, a stack is probably enough. I'll take two. to sand. I think here would be a good spot. Let's design it real quick. So we just need some pulverizers. And we want to lay it out so that it's got a good upgrade path. I forgot to do the default IO. And let's see. Let's go with tier two modules in basic beacons for the ratio for now. doing sand. This is lined up correctly. See how many we can fit, and it's probably going to be too many for what the belts can keep up with. We should be able to do double basic beacon with this, and Let's put in, say, wait, I doubt we're going to need the speeds, actually. Uh, let's go for prods. Uh, and how fast would this be? 2.4 stone per second, 7.4 sand. That's without speeding it up. Uh, if we do a mix of, if we do a mix of speed and efficiency, well, efficiency threes are free because we're on the Cryonite planet. Um, but generally speaking with the tier one modules, uh, efficiency doesn't help that much with, with the tier one beacons that is. Okay, so we're looking at 9.6 stone per second per machine. That's a lot. 12 machines. 115 stone per second. That's a bit much for one rail block. Let's absolutely put in some tier 3 efficiencies. That's still lots of power. Multiply this by 12 and we're looking at... A bit under two belts of stone. Lots and lots of sand. Uh, I think I'll aim for like 180 sand per second. That's about the limit of... Well, no it's not. With a stack size of 200, the trains won't care. And... Even so, four belts is a bit of a problem. Power plus 80%. How about this? 50 stone per second, 156 sand per second, uh, 517 kilowatts. That's pretty good. Is that default? It's actually default power consumption. could live with that. And we leave room for easy upgrade with wide beacons. I really don't think we need more than this many machines in half a block. Uh, and then we just need... It's probably best to do belts in, belts out. It's one in, one out, so it should be fairly simple. 
but if we want to use loaders, uh, we'll have to use this layout again. Let's, let's do it over here. That seems good. But we have to get it around the beacons. That actually still does need an underground, even if it's close, right? Excuse me while I sneeze. So just keep doing the same copy-paste, actually. That's actually consistent, I like that. Uh, wide area beacon, though, is going to want to be here. So the consistency ends. That doesn't quite fit. And we cry. Um... I could do the inputs on the outside. Wait, the sand is faster, isn't it? Or I could just make this wider, because it's not like we're going to put machines on the other side as well. Yeah, I think I'll just make it wider. One, two. Oh, but then that's slightly too wide. For the basic beacon. Okay. That seems pretty good. And... Same thing on the other side. Uh, the wide area beacon is actually still in the way if we do that, but not if we move them all down one. That looks pretty good, and except for the slightly wonky wide area beacon. Uh, and for output, I don't think I'm going to do the output in the middle. Hitting that is going to be a problem. So we're just going to go with Something... Well, we've got all the room we, we want, right? So we can just have it go out two tiles, or three tiles. How much... what's our rate from here, though? Let's remind ourselves. Uh, we're looking at... Six times this. Two blue belts. That's actually kind of a lot at this stage. I'd have to merge it in like a main bus kind of thing. With uh, double splitters. It seems overkill, but that's just how sand is. And then, how about we do that in the middle of each one of these? Maybe some undergrounds. They're actually only skipping three tiles. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine, I guess. Well, these two aren't going to do more than one belt. How many does it take, actually? Uh, it's 39 for three. So we could actually probably do it with a bit less. Uh, one, two, 
Like that. And then one, two, three, like that. Um, what am I getting wrong here? These two are only 26 per second. I just don't have a way to merge this into these two without an extra splitter. Um, this is just one belt. And this is just one belt. Oh, this is already wrong over here. So I should just put this over here. Why am I making it extra complicated? And then blue underneath Like so, that actually fits perfectly. Okay. Um, but we do want... Maybe I should just check, uh, have long trains only pick up here. And we can simplify... Uh, simplify the input. Just because it's so high throughput. And I think we've already got a place for the short trains to pick up. Uh, of course, these will have to be loaders. And then... It's not like we can make that symmetrical. Let me paste this, put it on the other side. That's a little bit inconsistent. That doesn't look too bad. Makes it easier to tweak as well. Alright, let's double check. 40 per second, or 39 per second for each three. That's fine. And if we take from here equally, we should put into here equally. Theoretically. Uh, this is going to be send... Provider. And we're going to need how much stone? Uh, two belts. There's like... There's some... Hmm. There's some bulk rail... Each bulk rail unloader has its own invisible inserters. But still, I don't want to count on it keeping up with 25 per second. Each... Uh, that should be fine. If I do put it so that it's dead center, um, how's that going to work out? If we want to double it later. Wide area beacon is actually sticking over the edge. Is that a problem? I want this to be the last time for a long time that we need to upgrade stone to sand. Oh wow, we're just able to fit this. But do we get overlap? We don't get overlap, of course not. That's actually totally fine. 
which means this part's going to be symmetrical. Approaching the loaders. And because it's so high throughput, we're going to have two output stations. Thank you, Fraser K. Calculated about the overlap? Yes. Very calculated. A thousand percent. This is all pre-scripted as opposed to post-scripted. Oh no, we've got plenty of room to change it. I kind of want to run the experiment and see if... Uh, where are my delivery cannon chests? See if the invisible inserters can keep up with the stone. Let's do it like that. It's only 14.4 stone per second per side. Oh wait, no it isn't. We don't have power right now. The reason I put the uh, rogue reports in was because they're 4x4. Four four, just as a placeholder for the wide area beacons. That's one thing I like about loaders, because they don't need power. Make neater power setups. That doesn't quite. How about this? That's looking pretty good. That's looking very good, dare I say it. Okay. And this one comes up here. And I think that's it. So we're going to do long trains only this time. We're going to request stone. Uh, this is called stone drop off or stone requester going into pulverizer to make sand and don't forget the wiring don't really need to tell LTN what's in that chest I don't think And that should be it, right? Alright, let's... Blueprint this sucker. I don't even feel the need to test it. It's a one-to-one, -one and we've done the rate calcs. It's probably fine. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing. Nothing bad could possibly happen. Um... Sand with E2. I O for the right hand side? God damn it. We've got the inputs. Just the wire? Is that it? Nope. Overconfidence is the best the best way to go about things. A thousand percent. Okay. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious nope. killer. Definitely not. Okay, so send. Uh, I'm just gonna put what modules we're using here. Nope. I think it was speed two, prod two, and efficiency three. Right side unload a belt? Impossible. What unload a belt are we talking about? Oh, I haven't snapped a grid yet. I've got the express loaders that you can't see. The 
top? Oh, god damn it. Now can we... You know what? I should, um, while we're at it, have filters on these. Actually, I don't know. Is a filter, even if it's always just picking up stone, going to add to ever so slightly to UPS cost or what? I don't know. Okay. Uh, take 4,000. Send. Uh, train stop names. And these are the modules that we're using at this stage. And that should be it. Station names? Yep, we did station names. Because I copy-pasted. Uh, now I don't know which one. There it is. Snap to grid 86, 25, and 1. Uh, and that should snap properly and be rotatable. Perfect. Let's put that in here and build it. Hey, we got Mining Prod 5 done. Um, is there anything we should be researching right now? Atomic Bomb? Uh, railgun turret. Sure, why not? Probably because it's kind of a waste of resources at this point. But I'm curious. How much is lab research speed? Not that much. Let's get it. And the next tier needs all of the sciences. Ooh, Tesla gun. We're getting that. Up to 30 enemies per shot. Hypercooling with cryonite. What's this? Energy control unit. Tank. Wide area beacon. That needs tier 2. Faster worker robot speed. Hell yes. What else does it need? Uh, worker robot speed. Sure. We need material one for some nice stuff. Energy distribution. I'm probably going to skip over substation mark two, to be honest. Particle collider. Energy catalog two. That'll keep us occupied for a minute. This only costs ten, actually. Okay, let's get our new build and summon the construction train. And have a look at that old build. Here it is. Silicon. And also quartz. Uh, and we wanted some prod twos for those. We're going to need lots of prod twos right now. They should be in here. Fantastic. Maybe not enough to finish everything we're trying to prod right now. But uh, we'll get more for our most precious resources. Need more pulverizers already. That's not surprising. They have a stack size of five. We don't usually build this many. What the... Oh no. Oh no. We built it upside down. Uh, okay. 
get out of here. I hope the trains are able to sort themselves out after that. They would have been picking up stone. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. How did it get rotated? Bruh. I mean, it wouldn't have made any functional difference, uh, except that it would have driven me mad. So, little detail. How many prod 2s we got right now? 18? That's not that many. Uh, I've got 129 here though. Can I handcraft? More than two pulverizers? Not really. How many do we need? Fourteen. That's three stacks. Pulverizer... in here. Already kind of went past it a little bit. Tesla gun's already 11% done. Uh, and we need some regular beacons. Which I can actually just handcraft. And then I need speed 2s and efficiency 3s. I haven't been in the habit of carrying modules this playthrough just yet. It actually takes a surprisingly long time to handcraft. Uh, it looks like we got all our prod 2s in here, and not so much over here. And we've run out. We need like 20 more or something. Oh, have I... Did I fit this well for beacons? Yeah, I kind of did. Alright, let's do that as well. I'll have to move these substations. But we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 beacons. Uh, for each of those blocks. Let's add beacon over here. So that'll be there when we go back later. I'll just double check. There's no new prerequisites for the autocrafter or anything. Nope, it's pretty basic. It is called a basic beacon after all. Let's go get our prods. Forty-eight. Where even are they, though? Fantastic. I don't suppose this is already making beacons. It is. Beautiful. They're still a little bit slow, even with the speed threes. Alright, where's our beacon? They don't have a home yet. Oh boy, where even are they? Just, just give me some beacons. There we go. Don't forget to break and hydrate. Break and hydrate makes number go down, though. I'm not even kidding, unfortunately. But I will have to get a little bit of... 
the old hydration going relatively soon. I, I have the beacons, but I don't have any modules right now. Alright. One and a two. And a three. And substations are going to have to be on both sides. And I think one more tile would have had that powered. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. I should probably just hurry up and request some modules in the mall instead of coming back here all the time. Except it's request stack threshold 40. Oh, also we're not going to export the tier 2s to the rail network. Because long term it makes no sense. Um, it's only the tier 1s that need uh, need to go into science. Okay, give me the efficiency 3s and the speed 2s. Did I do the same thing here with the speed 2s? I guess I did. I should limit that to 500, not 50. I should have picked up more beacons as well. Wait, where am I? How close am I? Uh, let's go up here first. Alright, so I think it was... I don't actually remember how many efficiencies it took to get normal power consumption. Half and half? Plus 40%. Wait, what? Two speed... Oh, that was with four prod twos, I see. So this is different because we can only fit two. And inventory spell. Fantastic. Okay, so let's see. Plus 40% power? What's the speed like? Plus 30%. I can live with that. Uh, although, we could probably drop the speed a bit because... Well, it depends on the speed over here, I suppose. Let's go half and half and see what that looks. It's the same number of modules. So speed plus 30% on everything. Can the belts keep up? 99 quarts per second. This could do 60. So that's a no. Let's do some more efficiency. Uh, I guess I'm doing module inserter. Tier 1 beacon, speed 2s, efficiency 3s, why doesn't that fill out the rest? And rate calc. 76 per second? Uh, two red belts can keep up with that. Not, actually. I would need to upgrade these to blue. And this would consume 48 per se. Oh, I think I remember now. I actually over I actually overdid quartz because we're putting it into the rail network as well. Um, but that's actually negative 80% power consumption. 76 quarts per second. That's most of two blue belts. 
negative uh, 80%. What about now? Minus 40%. Let's just go with this. And then maybe the same thing over here. See what the rate looks like. Uh, so positive 22.8 quartz to go into the rail network. And 30 silicon per second. I think I can live with that. 30.2. It's actually slightly too fast for this belt. Let's do blue belt specifically so we don't overdo it. Alright, go get some more beacons. Might need some more prod modules as well. Possibly a stupid question. Does pollution matter on a planet without biters? Not really. Uh, it does affect UPS. You might want to eventually just turn it off when you can easily say that biters aren't a threat anymore. But it takes a lot, really. Okay, um, I'll put some of these efficiencies away. We've got our beacons. I'll grab some more speed twos and prod twos, whatever we've got. Uh, only ten prod twos. Uh, sixty it looks like. Okay, I need to upgrade the second quartz and silicon build. What the hell? What? The... What? How are you full of stone and trying to pick a... Oh no. Remember when I made this upside down and then deleted it? And asked rhetorically where the trains would end up going? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get you to drop off over here. Wait until empty. Why are you using speed 2s and not speed 3s? Because speed 3s need a obscene amount of vulcanite blocks. And everything that we're getting from other planets at the moment is uh, bottlenecked on lots of stuff because it's cargo rocket sections. Uh, let's make all of this blue belt. And it's also just expensive and time-consuming to get them at this stage. I th think from here we can just copy-paste this. Probably. And did we get all the modules? I believe we did. Cool. Let's check the rate again. 22.8, that sounds familiar. 30.2 silicon. Fantastic. And last but not least is our new sand build. Uh, we still need more beacons. We need two more beacons. I'll just handcraft those. And it looks like we did get the modules. Alright, don't forget to add a tag. Or send. And... What's missing? Oh, it's just the beacons. Cool, cool, cool. So this is how much send per second? We'll find out once this beacon's finished, but it should be 312. 100 stone per second in, 312 sand per second out, and who knows, maybe now we won't be bottlenecked on this. Um, but there's probably at least one more train, maybe two or three somewhere full of stone 
that either dropped off stone where it doesn't belong, or they're sitting at a pickup station. They're probably sitting at a pickup station. If they went back to the depot full of stone, their first stop after that would be a pickup. And their, pick, their condition would be specifically X resource has to be greater than or equal to Y. So the if there's another train like that, they're probably at a pickup full of stone, just like we found the first one. That's our construction train. That one's fine. That's a depot. I guess we should check the depot as well. That one's fine. It could be at a mine. Those are more difficult to check. This one has uranium. Nothing else. Fantastic. Is it filling up? It looks like it should be filling up. Oh. We found it. We found the practical application of that theory that I had. The everything signal is bad for this. Yep. Because if... The, the uranium was getting removed from this container so quickly by the loader that it never counted as greater than zero. So this was always returning true. So it was just going around in circles. Good to know. We should probably update that uh, blueprint. If I haven't already. I did update it. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. So there's probably going to be a few more mines where we have to correct something like that. Uh, I mean, there's definitely going to be a few. But it's a little bit random. Quote unquote random as to whether that'll actually trigger that kind of issue. I think we might have got lucky and there was only one train um, that we had to fix up like that. I should probably maybe decommission the old stone to sand because it doesn't use the prod modules or I could add prod modules I guess can a regular beacon fit like this? I don't think so oh it can we'd only get two machines each but we could do it and once again my cup runneth over so many trains picking up sand I am, I'm, I'm definitely glad I did a double train stop over here. So we've got lots and lots of... I'm not even keeping up with this. Wow. What's in silicon? Silicon in particular is so thirsty. Okay. Is it just, is it not just because we're on Hagen, but like, stone is actually just way, way, way more in demand with this version? I'm thinking that might have something to do with it. Hey, we got the rocket control units. We make a cargo rocket sections. Fantastic. And I should definitely prod everything I can over here. Uh, let's see. Prod twos, please. Go. Considering the downtime that this has had, uh, I'm really not concerned about the loss in speed. 
uh, we're probably going to need quite a few more prod modules to finish that. Looks like some train stuck near uranium, the one I fixed, or was it somewhere else? It should be done within one tick of time. Uh, I'm not sure. With the belt, you mean, taking from the bulk rail loader. We actually got 93 prod twos just now. So it might be enough to finish. Nope. How many more do we need? Uh, let's see. We require... 67... Uh, 67 more prod twos to get as much productivity bonus as we realistically can here. For the moment. Come to think of it. Oh no, it's fine. Alright, back to the mall. Should have dropped off those modules somewhere else. It's fine. Like I said, efficiency threes are basically free on this planet. Lazy mining was fixed, but there were two trains for uranium. Yeah, I think they're good. Okay, some more prod. Breeze missing over here. Do I have any? I have 24. That's probably enough. Definitely want to get Prod 3s on Vulcanite. Or at the first step of Vulcanite anyway. Which is sort of the most important one. Sorry for... No, no, that's fine. Okay. Fantastic. So we can still deal with 8.8 .8 Vulcanite core fragments per second. That's actually a lot less than we can theoretically send, but again, cargo rocket sections have to catch up after all of these other physical bottlenecks. But the fact that I'm seeing no resources missing very encouraging. Tesla gun is at 88%. Very nice. How much space rail do we have? All of it. Literally as much as will fit in these two chests. Cool. Looks like we're having no trouble at all. Keeping up with that. So... Time for some more building. And I'll just drop this off here for now. Oh, that's right. How many modules are we still looking for? 67. That's kind of a lot. We need another 60. Wait, no, that's tier 3. Give us the prod 2s for now. 42. And we get, like, at least 20 per minute. 39 per minute. So about 30 seconds and I can go... Have this fully prod toed up. How much slower is it? Minus 60% speed, but the consistency is going to shoot up into the stratosphere. I could probably give it some beacons as well. Um. 
It's kind of hard to see how many machines are making... I think it's one, two, three, four... I think it's 16 of these machines making... Um, cargo rocket sections, actually. So that's almost 20 per minute. That's a rocket launch every five minutes. That's probably fine. Is it worth prod modding rocket section production too? Yeah, I think so. Probably. Where's our prod twos? We have 57. Wait, didn't we need like five more? There's three. And... Oh, we're actually bottlenecked on these fast inserters. I didn't even realize. I'm not as worried about the efficiencies, but we'll do that for the hell of it. Yeah, the inserters can't keep up. Well, that makes it easier to see where... which of the inserters are inputs and outputs, I guess. And that's our Tesla gun researched. That's definitely enough prods. Okay. Fantastic. Everything that can be prodded here has been prodded here. And it is indeed... Oh, it's actually like... Hold on, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. I think it's like half. 9.9 9 cargo rocket sections per minute. So discounting uh, recycling of cargo rocket sections, uh, it's about a rocket launch every 10 minutes from this block. Next bottleneck would be lithium. We haven't had any trouble with lithium. Uh, actually, the biggest problem we had with lithium was the chlorine output. Um, but it looks like it's not keeping up now, because otherwise there would be a train load here. So you might be right about that. Where is our lithium going? In here. Uh, 21.6 per second versus 3.2 per second. That's a bigger disparity than I was expecting. That's a much bigger disparity than I was expecting. Let's see what we can do about it. Um, I'll jump into the editor for this one. And white area beacon would obviously go here. So I'm thinking... I might have to move this over if we want to double it later. But we should be able... Oh, wait a sec. I can't, can't quite touch both sides. What if we put this a bit further apart? One, two... That should be it, actually. Basic beacon... Uh, it would have to be two more tiles wide. To get the most out of the basic beacons. I want to use this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's unfortunate. Lithium's not a bottleneck, it is an evanescence song. Indeed. 
I guess I could do multiples of two. In which case, it might be easier to fit the beacons as well. Just like this. And then... Three, four. They only use 100 kilowatts each in this version. So I don't know what I'm worried about. We would need input belts and output belts and substations on the opposite side. We're really running out of space here. If we wanted to double it, that is. What are these tiles doing? Absolutely nothing. Let's move it in. Substation's going to have to move, but that's no big deal. And then... Undergrounds. And then substation here, perhaps. Oh, that's, that's going to look really good, I think. Yeah, I'm liking this. I could put it even closer if I have to. So copy paste flip on this side. It looks like the water, the placement's slightly off over here, which means the substations are going to be off. All right. Oops. And then, yeah, I think, why don't we just put them here and see what that looks like. I would like that better. Depends on what it's going to look like when, when we double it. Now the big question, can we fit this far enough to the left that we could double it? And I think the answer is just barely yes. Fantastic. Cool. So we're only going to get four machines per basic beacon, but other than that, this is looking really good. Um, that's looking a little weird, but necessary. How fast is this? With no beacons? 3.2. It's so slow. Both input and output, physical and fluid, it's really, really slow. So we really don't have to stress about that. Okay. Let's double this thing. Except I want just one substation in the middle like that. We 
we're gonna do a loader like soda and copy paste flip all of this whoa okay and then is it only one physical in it is so there's really no need to merge it like this as long as we're only asking for a couple of train loads. And especially considering how slow the input is. I could technically use only one belt down the middle there, but who cares. Uh, we've actually got four belts. Um, let's do it like this. One, and a two, and a three, and a four. How tidy is that going to look? Not half as tidy as I would have liked. As a matter of fact. Maybe I should go back to what we had as a starting... Oh, this is different now as well. Yeah, that's going to be better. Let's use the delivery cannon chests. And then we have a nice place to springboard from with the inputs. That actually works. This is going to be in the way though. Move it down one. So that's the sides, and whoops, I guess let's do it like this for the other two. Copy, paste, flip, perfectly symmetrical as all things should be. flip. Perfectly symmetrical as all things should be. Beautiful. What is this fluid? Uh, I'm guessing it's water and... How far? Wait, wait, everything is slow, right? Yeah, 128 water per second for the whole thing. So, request, threshold, or fluid, 50k, water, 100k. And there we go. Don't forget the wiring on the right side at the new station. And don't forget this one. And the whole thing's going to be super slow, so we're just going to have one output station, I think. Let's remove the beacons for now. And let's see. Update this. So short trains could pick this up if we so desired. Provide threshold? Why is it missing a provide stack threshold? Looks like that's something we fixed later on. Provide stack threshold is going to be two cargo wagons. But we're going to permit short trains. We're going to push from the back to the front. Only if there's enough in the back. Lithium. Here it is. Chlor lithium chloride. That's what we're making here, right? No, it's lithium. Uh, lithium... Did I request... Yeah, lithium chloride is up here. Okay. So stack size 50. Uh, if we've got... Whoops. If we've got 2,000... Then... 
we're going to push it from the back to the front. We're going to limit the front to one cargo wagon. And we're going to get everything um, merged in here. Is water fully connected? Uh, it is not fully connected in the slightest. That's not going to work up there. We could connect it down this way. Also, it wasn't connected down here either. I don't like that as much. This is also still not connected. It's kind of inconsistent. I like that better. Get rid of this. about copy paste flip although it appears to be symmetrical get rid of these extra ones this goes up here and that doesn't go anywhere and we need a similar treatment for chlorine I guess that would have to go there. That's decent, I guess. These can go. Unless that's going to be tidier, perhaps. Or I could connect the chlorine up here. That might be neater. Oh, it even works like this. I definitely like that better. Much better. One, two, three, four. I guess I could have done it the same way down here. But I kind of like this, especially with the way that's going to connect. Alright then. Now we just need to do our output belts. And... I'm going to push all of it to the back. The whole thing without modules would give 12.8 per second. So I'm sure a blue belt's going to be more than enough for whatever. Oh, that's what I was doing now. Except it's really... If the water's connected like that, that's not necessary. It looks kind of weird. Middle missing two undergrounds for input. Middle missing two undergrounds for input. I'm not sure I follow. Although I'm going to change this just for the consistency. Um, let's go with a 
these. And one of these. Can I just fit that there? Ah, uh, so close. It's actually tragic. I can't directly connect this. Maybe... I don't want to use a half belt. I want this to be expandable. Top middle section does not have undergrounds. Top middle section. Does not have undergrounds. I'm not following you. For, for what resource? No input for the middle line. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These two. Well, that's easily remedy. Can a red fit like this? Kind of. Oh, that's gonna be... Wait, wait, wait. No, we've we've done this already. We just haven't connected it. Okay, that's fine. Cool, cool, cool. So the only aesthetic puzzle left is making the output belts look nice. Which is a little bit of a challenge. Um, I could maybe merge these like so. I think that'll do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't hate this. And we're going to do the blue just because undergrounds, for the most part. Just like that. And... kind of want to merge this properly. I could just do it like this. Uh, I don't love the look of that. But I don't want to have to put another splitter here just for that one either. It's kind of, kind of wacky either way. Also, also, that doesn't line up the way I would have liked. Mm, fine, let's put a splitter here. And we'll block off that side. And that way that can merge in like this. And come to think of it, this is more consistent and looks better. So everything does merge properly into one belt. And for the hell of it, make that blue. Alright, let's throw in some test... Uh, test inputs. I think we're getting water everywhere. And the only other one was lithium chloride. Fantastic. Looks like we've got all of our inputs. But the ins is this? Oh, we have no power. Okay. I was going to say.
looking good. Do we have chlorine able to get where it's get? Oh, it's really slow. Hold on. What's all this? What are these shenanigans? What did I just deconstruct? Yeah, I know. And there goes the last of the lithium chloride. And there goes our second recipe of lithium. And everywhere we click, we should see 640 chlorine. Is how much is in this pipe network? Seems good. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting we have this... Uh, Type visualizer. That's cool. That is very cool. I like that. Chat missed that too, indeed. Speaking of things we missed, we need to connect that there. Oh, and it has to be a super high priority pickup. Um, currently we're manually pumping chlorine away from here, because we don't have another consumer for it. And this is, chlorine is a byproduct here. Hydrogen chloride is the main thing it goes into. Mining raw rare metals doesn't... That's actually all there is, really. Mining finite raw rare metals, and... Uh, and making hydrogen chloride. So we really should update our hydrogen chloride build to accept a train dropping off chlorine from here. Unless we're going to integrate the entire thing, which I don't want to do. Uh, but yeah, that should be pretty good. Let's make this high priority. Because it's got a secondary output that's got to go. Get rid of all the cheat items. Logically, lithium chloride, uh, chloride would be next bottleneck. Lithium chloride. Uh, that's the input to this. Well, we'll have a look at it. Okay, uh, let's update our blueprint here. Well, not even update, let's make another one. Lithium... R2. Train stop names included, I hope. I hope we've already done those correctly, because I don't want to go back now and check. That looks good. Fantastic. Asandanima, Kevin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The right unloader station has one loader too much on the cannon box. We can fix that very easily. Boop. Okay. Let's go build it, or upgrade it, I should say. Um, I might just cut off this station. There's already another train on the way. And where oh where? Yeah, we'll probably have to change this one as well. 24 lithium chloride per second only consumes 3.2. I don't think we will actually have to upgrade this yet. Doop-a-doop. -doop. Fantastic. 
Chlorine is full. That's less fantastic. Sort of. I hope I'm not going to end up venting chlorine. We can get hydrogen anytime we want, right? In fact, that's what this is for, actually. Water to hydrogen and oxygen. Um... So the fact that... Maybe I need to change the ratio here. So we're able... We're, we actually already are able to consume chlorine faster than it's being produced. Hmm... Hmm. This hydrogen... This hydrogen doesn't actually have a connection down here. Where is it? Oh, it must go somewhere. Oh, it goes here. Well, that's okay. Maybe I want to redesign this one from the ground up. I mean, there's a lot that's right, but especially when we want to dump chlorine in from the other build. I'd want to not... I'd, I'd want to avoid doing water electrolysis uh, to produce chlorine. Because hydrogen is basically free. We don't want to use sand to make chlorine when we've already got X amount of chlorine. I could easily add some condition to that. How fast do we make the hydrogen here? Really slow. I think I just add a condition... ...that says... Chlorine less than something. Up to 200k we've got. Or how about chlorine less than hydrogen chloride? That probably makes sense. Except that hydrogen's going to be way too slow. No, we're actually able to... I mean, hydrogen is way too slow, but it's already too slow. Okay, whatever. Um, chlorine less than 100k. And same thing over here. And why is this not... Oh, there's so much chlorine. Each of these machines has another thousand. Because none of that chlorine goes to... Hydrogen chloride, actually. Should probably fix that. Don't know what that pipe is doing there, but okay. It's definitely the way to go. Oh, that's what we did over here, even. Yeah, I must have just missed it when I expanded. Okay. So if chlorine is less than 100k... Uh... Make more chlorine. Otherwise... Because it's mostly hydrogen chloride that we actually need chlorine for. What's this set to? Anything greater than or equal to hydrogen chloride. Oh, okay. That's fine. Chlorine less than 100k. That makes sense. That might work. 
Oh, and this hydrogen. Where is it able to go? Only this side, like I thought. Did I do something similar on this side? They're all connected. I can't... I don't quite have room to connect these the way I want to. Unless I move this around, which I guess isn't that big of a deal. It's messy anyway. Okay. And then... I can't believe these are both full. Well, while we're refactoring this, let's see if we can't figure out somewhere to drop off the hydrogen chloride. Oh, the chlorine, rather. I don't think we can, though. If I move the substation and add pumps here, and make this both a requester and a provider, that's going to be such a headache. Um... Can't really fit another station. I mean, technically I can, but it's going to be ugly. I c How fast does this go through water? Somewhat slowly? I think I just want to redesign this, to be perfectly honest. Let's just push it back into only one of these stations. And with the new logic, it'll probably sort itself out. We hope. On the other hand, that's what testing is for. Indeed it is. Okay, is this still going? Oh yeah, it's really slow. Hmm... I really want to upgrade it in this block, though. How about... We pick all this up. Let it finish its current recipe. Leave the delivery cannon chest. it up when it's done. It's going to be like a minute still. 25 seconds per recipe. Okay. How's everything else doing though? Still struggling on cargo rocket sections. I don't see any bots moving here. We're still bottlenecked on rocket control units. Um, rocket control still units still want advanced circuits. Advanced circuits want electronic components, which are being transported right now to modules. Uh, I should probably drop the priority on this thing. That's a bit of a problem. In fact, modules are a luxury. Let's make it negative one priority. Because I didn't realize we were spending that much on them, especially at priority. Red circuits are much more important at this point. Okay, we're just about done here. Let's tidy this up, and from here we should be able to put in our new blueprint.
don't suppose the train has electrolysis plants? I think it has filtration plants, yeah. And we haven't even requested them over here. It's such a rare thing to build. We need 64 in total. Well, we can still get the construction train in on the fun. Let's park you over here. Inactivity. And go get the rest. We need... Uh, 48 electrolysis machines. There it is. Electrolysis plant. Give to me... That's not even 48. How dare you. Well, it'll be a minute, uh, half a minute before it kicks in. Up to... To start making more electrolysis machines, so let's just go over and build. We need some more beacons as well. We've actually already picked those up. Fantastic. This won't be enough though. Is this a big output or a base? What? Big outpost. Oh, this is the this is the main base. I am not building outposts this big. No, uh, -uh. no, thank you. Let's go get some modules. Probably go tier three efficiencies and tier two the rest again. Our new machines are in here. And efficiency threes are in here. You see prod threes as well. I might just put those back where they live. Because we've got so few of them. And I want to know where to find them. Give to me some prod twos. Actually, this is too full. Prod twos. And a few speed twos. But mostly prods. Uh, Falma, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And module inserter. We're probably going to go for the same setup as before, since we've got the same number of modules that can fit in this. Uh, electrolysis plant. Two tier twos. Fantastic. Elect Prodesis plant, whatever. We've got our prods in here. Let's check our rate. Oh, let's check power consumption. Negative 80% limit plus 100 is negative 70. That last efficiency module is overdoing it. Whatever. Um, What's the speed like? A whopping 14.33 lithium per second. How much is required down here? 21? Gonna have to double it. How much uh, lithium chloride do we need? 12.8, we've got 24. So I won't have to double that just yet. But let's just do another block like this. I'll have to do it way over here, though. And the 
this part's looking a bit unfinished. I'm also going to have to do that dodgy piping a bit more. Why has this got two of these? Oh, probably because I pasted it over the old one. Okay, looks like we've got enough modules. Uh, we don't have enough beacons. We need 16. We're only making 10 back here, I think. 20, actually. But I was only requesting one stack. And I'll pick up more electrolysis plants manually because I don't want to carry them all the time. Let's bring our train here, I guess. Wait for inactivity. Go ahead and update this bit of pipe. Fantastic. All the bots catching up. I need a few more... I forgot how long these take to make. A few more underground pipes. You can tell the construction train just arrived because placing signals causes a bit of a lurch. Oh, and let's uh, make sure we add a tag here too. Lithium goes here. Fantastic. Oh, um, I think because we copy-pasted on top of the old one, that didn't get applied. That train's having a little bit of a struggle getting loaded. Okay. Give me some more beacons and uh, electrolysis plants. They're in the same spot still. Fantastic. I was hoping to kind of skip over tier 1 beacons, but it's not really working out that way. Okay. We still need more electrolysis plants. I took literally all of them. We need another 24. Um, does it cause any harm that some are missing? Not with this build. So we should see... There's no water. Oh, there's water on this side. And these aren't connected. There's the water. Okay. There's our lithium. Fantastic. So next we're going to upgrade this one. Uh, it looks like I did... Uh, it looks like I was considerate to my future self with the... Beacon design. Yeah, that's looking really good actually. Very, very easy to double this. Give it more prods. Okay. Since we're waiting on some resources, 
gonna take a break real quick. Throw up some words on stream and LTN screensaver. Back in just a few minutes. We'll start the words on stream. Well, first of all, I need to set it up. If it wants to load. There we go. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Whoops, my bad. There's the words.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Fantastic with the words on stream. And a pause. And we go. Uh, F12. There we are. So once more, I need to pick up electrolysis machines. Refresh. There they are. That should be more than enough. Uh, we probably have enough modules as well. Is this our build? Nope, something else is missing here. A single piece of pipe. Some sort of weird new unit name? A pressure unit. Spell check didn't highlight Tor. Tor? Well, so that one's finished. Now we go double our previous input for that chain. Gotta learn every day, damn right. Alright, speaking of consumers of chlorine, here's hydrogen chloride. Which is looking shockingly empty, considering how full these were looking. Or They're full of chlorine, they're not full of hydrogen chloride. I think we should redesign this block. Uh, it's, yeah, it's looking really bad, actually. Alright, we'll double this one first, and... I see why I didn't put the pairs of rows next to each other, because of the double fluid input. Although, with what we learned recently... So, it's two fluids in, one solid out, right? If we could do the two fluids in like this... Uh, we could put beacons between these machines, I guess. But we don't need that much speed out of this. I'm not overly concerned. Let's, uh... Module insert? Oh, okay. Let... Wait, what happened to all of my settings? Oh, no. Chemical plant... Prod... Twos... Efficiency... Uh, sorry. Beacons... Um, probably like three speeds and the rest can be efficiencies. See how that looks. Plus 20% power consumption. How fast is it? 20... Excuse me, 28.3 per second. One of these blocks consumes 12.8. So that could still support uh, both of those other blocks. How about we go a little bit more on the efficiency and we'll add more machines. Auto save. Alright, let's copy this here. Switch that off. Nope. Damn, that's fast. Uh, copy, paste, flip over here. And that's going to have to connect like that. It doesn't reach. Are you serious? There we go. And red wire goes to the pumps. That should all be fine. Um, I don't necessarily want to stick with these pipes, though. Now, what 
is the problem here. If mineral water less than zero... Oh! We connected that to the wrong thing. It needs to connect to the logistic train stop output. There we go. So there's our mineral water. Um, we can't copy paste flip this. Instead... How fast is this output? 20 something. 24. We can't quite do it all on one blue belt. At least, not continuously. But it should be way more than we need anyway, at least for now. Are the individual machines able to manage with yellow inserters? They definitely are. Um, so I'm thinking... How many tiles from the middle is this? One, two, three. And flip this around. Just for the look of it. Would a wide beacon... I can't actually check from here. I don't think a wide beacon would overlap this. Looks like that would actually line up perfectly. And so would that. Sold. Alright. Chlorine or hydrogen chloride is going to go here. So, symmetry, or as close as we can get anyway. Let's get our construction train to pay us a visit. Inactivity, 15 seconds. Barani, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Last time you clicked the trash bin instead of OK in Module Planner. Yeah, I thought. That might be the case. I think I was trying to click the other delete thing. Mazzle Fazzle, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... I think I'd like to update this as well. It's slightly more than one blue belt, which is... Pretty annoying, actually. I could just do two stations, I guess. If we're only allowing long trains for this. Why not? I, I don't foresee... looking for lithium chloride in the mall or something. It's only going to be places where we drop off a double train. So we'll do this the old-fashioned way. Wait, what? Seems good. And don't forget power. And now we just have to deal with the fact there's no hydrogen chloride. Actually, well, there's practically none here either. How far until space elevator? Uh, at least seven minutes. So yeah, I kind of want to redesign hydrogen chloride, uh, maybe even from the ground up. Let's have a look. Basic hydrogen. 
and slash or chlorine. On a planet with infinite water, hydrogen is free, so it's really just chlorine. And we need to have a drop-off for chlorine so that it can deal with the excess from the other build. I could do... I think I should probably do more of... more machines to just make hydrogen directly, water separation. Water separate... heavy water? Not researched. Yeah, we can ignore that for now. Water separation just makes hydrogen and a tiny bit of oxygen. LTN had an update where they added support to connect networks between surfaces. If you are in luck, the SE dev implemented the interface when you reach that stage. Nice. Very nice. Although I did have plans in place to get around LTN not being able to go through the space elevator. Um, let's just put this whole mess aside for the moment and more or less start from scratch. So our products are going to be primarily hydrogen chloride. Actually, I think, um, let's just double check this. Chlorine goes into... Uh, we do need chlorine available to the rail network for mining rare metals. Theoretically, at least. I've hardly ever needed to actually mine the rare metals. We just get some from core fragments and it's been more than enough so far. Um, but that said... Uh, we will need to offer chlorine to the rail network, but... It's, it's not much. This is primarily for making hydrogen chloride. So, and we need, we need to leave space for chlorine. So it can be dropped off from that other build. Let's see, what are our inputs? Sand and fluids, that's it. So sand and water is how we did it before. We want to have sand, water, and chlorine. How fast does it consume? It's really slow. So I'm really not worried about the shape of it too much. Um, but I guess we could do water here. Chlorine like this. And I guess I want to have enough electrolysis, uh, water separation to be precise. I want to have enough water separation to get the hydrogen to feed the hydrogen chloride that we get from importing hydrogen from the other builds. It's quite slow. But I'd definitely rather overdo it than underdo it. I also want to prioritize consuming that imported chlorine over consuming more sand. So our inputs are water, um, chlorine, high priority to consume that, sand, Low priority to consume sand, as in we, we want to avoid consuming it when we can. Uh, our outputs are chlorine, hydrogen, and hydrogen chloride. Most importantly, hydrogen chloride. We'll have to have some uh, 
encoded network ID shenanigans. So encoded network ID 1 up here, number 2 down here, so that we don't pick up from pick up chlorine from here and bring it up this way. Um, so we're outputting, I think the output doesn't change. It was one, two, three fluids. Uh, chlorine, hydrogen, and hydrogen chloride. Yeah, that sounds about right. We'll probably end up going for the same shape of output. Something like this. It's probably exactly the same as what we did before. Yeah. Didn't we have a big build somewhere for specifically supplying hydrogen? Uh, let's do a search. Hydrogen. It's not these two. That's that's a hydrogen drop off. So that's that's a no. Here it is. Yeah, we do have hydrogen available for the rail network. I think this one should be negative priority. Uh, just because I mean I've probably got positive priority wherever we have hydrogen to pick up as a side product, but still. Stardust and Ampula, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did we not get this working yet? Oh, we probably did, but there's no hydrogen fluoride here yet. That's why we're working on this build. So sand and fluid in, two fluids out. Makes a lot of sense to do this sort of layout. Um, how much sand in was it? It's actually quite slow. There's no reason to do all these belts and loaders. 16 sand per second on each side. How are you doing today? Not too bad. Thanks for asking. Um, so maybe... Hmm. Well, how much of this can we fit? That's the limit. So I went and made myself a mage build on my world. Uh, Terraria? We'll be doing Terraria again tomorrow, by the way. And I will say I'm surprised at how good it is. Oh yeah, Mage is great. You don't just have the squishy DPS, but you've got a lot of utility. That actually looks fine. Two cent per second. That one won't have room for an input. Uh, okay. I could just move it over a little bit. That would also mean... Perhaps having room for a beacon? A little baby beacon? Oh, we can touch three of these with this. That's cool. Except I would want to start... How many is this? Eight. It doesn't work out so well. Managed to lend myself a Zapinator. 
indeed the most consistent weapon in the game. Um, the concept isn't that complicated for what I want to do with this build, but getting the layout to work at the same time might be tricky. Also, instead of this pair of pipes thing, um, it might be easier... We do it like this, I guess. That's one, two, three, four out of five tiles covered, as opposed to one, two, three, four. It's the same, except that we could do it like this in this case. Or I could have just done the pairs thing on different pairs. That would work as well. Do pairs of inserters. That's pretty neat. When I hop on next, I'll be delving into hell to open some shadow chests and build a platform for Wall of Flesh. I thought, uh, I thought Zappinator was hard mode actually. Oh, um, if uh, sh shut your ears if you consider it a spoiler. Like, if you want to figure out your own ways to kill things, but I cannot recommend enough for Mage Against the Wall of Flesh. The bee gun. Especially with the hive pack, but even without the hive pack, it's actually insane. Just, just keep it a whole screen away, or even more than that, and spam bees at it. Um... So we should be able to put basic beacons well I can't put them like equidistant because they can do sets of six and we've got eight on each side if I do pairs of them the inserters are going to be upset Or I could just put them slightly further apart, I think. Uh, I think I can only put them one tile further apart. Which would at least make them symmetrical compared to the huge storage tanks. But not the big beacon. Yeah, that works. How about this? That looks fairly neat. Did what it, that in 1.2 years ago, indeed. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the only reason to kill the queen bee. Um, alright, so far so decent, slash basic, basically copying what we did last time. I could just have a hydrogen drop off. We could set it so that so that if hydrogen is below some amount, we drop off hydrogen instead of trying to have lots of those machines here. That makes a lot of sense. Tried Queen Bean got clapped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you're not prepared, uh, she's pretty nasty. Absolutely. Um, so how fast is this? Without modules. 64... 32 per second chlorine and hydrogen. Chemical plants... Now that I think of it, I think I remember saying I'm happy to have... Uh, where is it? Hydrogen chloride. 
happy to have these chemical plants able to go faster. So that it can adjust and catch up. Popelschnipse, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. She's just a hundred times harder on mobile because of how she behaves on mobile. Yeah, I can't even imagine how I would pull that off. Um, these inputs and outputs are like offset from each other no matter how we lay it out. So it's got to be something like this if we're going to do this. Um, so, so far we're pretty much just recreating what we've already done. But considering that hydrogen chloride is the main product that we want from here, um, I think... I think we should have more machines making hydrogen chloride. Oh, wait. Oh, this is already faster than it can keep up with. Not sure what I was thinking there. Except, I mean, I was going to connect these like so, but oh, that's fine. I want all of it connected to a common pool for each resource. And yeah, we should definitely have the hydrogen chloride machines able to go faster because we're going to be importing both hydrogen and chlorine uh, sometimes. So one, two, can we do the same shape? Can we, can we actually? I think that works. And I didn't do it as symmetrically last time. So that's a win. Okay. Okay, okay. Seems good. Where are our containers? I think I'd want... It's tricky to configure LTN with all these things, but I think we can do it. Um, I think I want hydrogen to only be picked up from here if it's going to overflow and we would vent it. So we're going to maintain a certain range of hydrogen stored here. Could we do triple fluid drop-off up here? I think we could. Just like we're doing triple fluid pickup. Hydrogen. And we could just uh, request a certain amount of hydrogen and mess with the request threshold so that we don't actually request it until it's really low. It's more complicated than I realized it would be. I think I don't want to push with a pump resources into the pickup. And I'll just set the provide threshold high enough that there has to be no way we could consume it all before the train arrives. Um, if a train is scheduled for pickup. Let's 
cheat in some chlorine so that we can see where all this goes. Like that. Hydrogen. The build's going to look very similar, I think. It's just going to be a bit more refined. Like that. And hydrogen chloride. Like this. Oops. It's actually just sticking into the middle here, which is probably fine. Would this look tidier or not really? Well, it doesn't look tidier with crap on the ground. Remove item on the ground. Yeah, I don't... I don't like that. Let's just do it like this. This game is too much for my brain to comprehend. This is space exploration, which is a lot more complicated than the base game. Or parts of it are, anyway. Okay. So, hydrogen chloride. Why don't we just bring that over there? Everything's touched by Big Beacon. These little ones are touched by Basic Beacon, at least. Considering the rate of these, that's probably fine. Those should be connected. Chlorine is available for pickup. We request chlorine up here and hydrogen. It's kind of built in to LTN the way, um, we can keep a fluid not completely full. So we're just going to say... Let's tidy this up. Um, we can fit 100k hydrogen. Request, thresh uh, request threshold for fluids is 50k. And request... How, how fast can we go through hydrogen here? Um, 76 per second is quite slow. So I think we'll just request like... Hydrogen, um, 60k. So if we're below 10,000 in these two tanks, uh, we'll have some delivered. Uh, and chlorine, all of it. We're looking to fill this with chlorine, but we're not picking up chlorine from down here to bring up here. Uh, we want to consume chlorine that's dropped off up here as a priority. And I think... Oh, I could just connect this here. So if chlorine up the top Wait, isn't that going to be connected here as well? Hmm. Should I keep those connected? Start with baby steps? Yeah, um, the good thing about Factorio is no matter how complex it gets, well, until c certain mods late in the game, like, uh, like Arcospheres, 
with space exploration, but for the most part, uh, in Factorio, you learn very complex things one little simple step at a time. So it's not overwhelming. Doesn't it need power for rate calc to work? Yes, but uh, we haven't put any modules or anything in. Um, I'm not concerned about what it's going to look like with beacons just yet. It's actually a really good fit. And this could go here, I suppose. Wait, what? Why doesn't that line up? I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. That's good enough. Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not responsible for lack of sleep, indeed. Um... So, fluids take some time to slosh around, but putting that aside, the reading from chlorine up here to chlorine down here is basically going to be the same. Uh, once these are connected, that is. How fast do we consume chlorine at most? 64 is pretty slow. Oh, that's how we, fast we make it down there. Ignore that. Uh, 140 per second is still quite slow. Okay, so I think what I want to do is only run the water electrolysis to make chlorine if chlorine is below some amount. And we unconditionally want to make hydrogen chloride. Um, if we drop below 10k hydrogen, we're going to request some from the rail network. We'll make this a high priority uh, requester. And... Is it really as simple as all that? Hydrogen can't be delivered from here to here either. I, I wanted hydrogen to only be picked up from here if if there's lots of it. So like... We're, we're not going to put a request threshold and we're going to pretend there's 100k less hydrogen in this tank than there actually is. So once it gets to like 150k, that's a bit much. Let's make it 50k. Uh, so once there's 100k in this tank, a train will come to pick up hydrogen from here. So we're trying to keep it between 50 and 100, basically. Uh, and over here we're going from 10 to 60k between these two. So like 10 to 60% full. Uh, I should set this to like, we need to be more than 60% full before we schedule a pickup. Um, so pretend there's 25k missing. No, I should set that higher. I, I was I was right the first time. If it's three quarters full, which is four train loads, we'll schedule a train to pick up hydrogen here. And dropping off hydrogen, it will get up to 60% full. And we're also producing hydrogen here. Uh, chlorine we're producing with this. 
Uh, if chlorine is greater than some amount, uh, then we're not going to produce chlorine with these machines, or hydrogen for that matter. We're not going to even bother worrying about the hydrogen with these inserters. And... Um, and we're always going to convert chlorine plus hydrogen into hydrogen chloride, which is the main reason we're here. But we can also pick up these two things from this pickup. Cool. So I do want enough chlorine to be here for a pickup. Let's say... These two should roughly balance. So let's say if chlorine is less than 100k. If we're less than half full on chlorine, we'll try to make more. Data gnome, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This community would want to be be more than happy to answer questions. I certainly hope so. Um, is that it for the logic here? We're going to find out. And... Yeah, I think, uh... I think that's basically it. This will be normal priority. I'll make it slightly above normal priority because if I hadn't lowered the priority on those hydrogen producers, we wouldn't pick up from here first. Okay. So substation. So it turned out to be basically the same shape. Well, we did add a hydrogen drop off. That's kind of a big deal. Um, I can't quite fit an underground through here, so we're just going to do it this way. Um, theoretically that could be imbalanced, but if we're only asking for a couple of train loads of sand, it shouldn't be an issue considering the storage capacity of these. I could always run it through a splitter, I guess, but... It wouldn't fit right in the middle. Let's put a substation. There isn't really a good spot for it. That wouldn't be so bad if the wiring was symmetrical. How many connections can this have? Oh, that's the limit. That's probably fine. It all fits under a big beacon as well. And I could always beacon these, but I probably wouldn't worry about that. True... Oh, indeed. Okay. Um, what's this connected to? Hydrogen chloride. Why don't we see hydrogen chloride in here? Oh, it's just super slow because there's no power. Fantastic. Um, we could also consume chlorine before it's picked up, so we should probably pretend there's a bit less chlorine here than there actually is, like one train load less. Seems good. And the main point is the hydrogen chloride. Right then. And we've definitely got room to double this if we so desire. 
which we might have to. Okay. Substations. Down here, I guess, is fine. That looks weird. It's just the beacon that wouldn't be powered here. Unfortunate. That actually, it looks like a boat or something. That doesn't look too bad on the map. So the pumps need to be connected to the logistic train stop output. So we can tell uh, which fluid the train is trying to pick up or drop off. And the containers need to be connected to the logistic train stop input. That seems good. Alright, when we're dropping off, uh, the logistic train stop output gives us a negative one signal for whichever fluid the train is trying to get rid of. and uh, a positive signal in the case of the train's trying to pick it up. Whatever amount the train is trying to get, it'll say that number for that type of signal. Hydrogen greater than zero. Alright, that should be a much smarter build. For our hydrogen chloride. Let's blueprint. Hydrogen chloride, bigger brain. Fantastic. 25-1. Uh, did we do the train stop names? I don't think so. Oh, we did actually. Hydrogen, chlorine, hydrogen chloride provider. We did do the settings here. Different encoded network IDs. Um, pretending that half of the hydrogen isn't here for pickup. Pretending that a quarter of the maximum chlorine isn't here for pickup. Um, if there's... If chlorine is less than half full, make more chlorine out of these inputs. Otherwise, accept it from other sources, namely just lithium. Uh, request hydrogen when this is down to 10k, which is 10%. And request lots of chlorine here. And encoded network ID on different virtual networks so that these two stations don't interact. Also, this is a high priority requester. Also, we're requesting sand. Also, we should request water. Fantastic. Okay, I think that's right. Let's try this again. Hydrogen chloride. Bigger brain. Green stop names, yes. Snap to grid, 86, 25, and 1. And we've already removed the cheat items. Everything has power. And rotate, we can snap, seems good. For some reason I thought you were Valdek. Wait, what? Oh, the V name. Alright, let's jump in here, and I very much think I would like to just replace this build. 
but... You know, the sand is moving pretty quick. We can probably let that drain in no time. Will the output fluids be in exactly the same spot? It looks like I didn't add quite as many containers, but we've got room for them for hydrogen chloride. I'm only leaving room for two train loads of hydrogen chloride pickup if I don't add those extra tanks, which is probably fine. Possibly fine. And we shouldn't need to vent um, hydrogen, theoretically. I guess it's possible. Okay. Turn that off. Wait, don't turn that off. Turn off the inputs. Just remove those combinators. I'll let it run until these run out. Get rid of the belts. Still going. It's only 10 cent per recipe. This time we're not going to need um, water separation in the same block. It's definitely a lot cleaner. logic is a bit simpler, I think, as well. We also won't need these pumps. Alright, looks like the machines have mostly stopped. And all of these are on fumes. Cool, we're pretty much going to waste nothing by deconstructing this. Get rid of all this nonsense. Just don't deconstruct the big containers. Um, and I might want to... I might want to undo the wires. Did I do... Hydrogen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's a good thing I misclicked there because we do not. We do not want to go to the editor space while all of our bots are flying. Okay. Hydrogen, chlorine, hydrogen chloride. Pretty sure. Yeah, they're in the same place. That's good. Okay. Let's remove the stations, and I'm just going to remove these pumps and wires, but oh, they're not powered right now. I just want to... actually, it should push whatever's in these pumps back into the fluid network. shouldn't be worried about hydrogen. Hydrogen is free. Okay. Get 
rid of all this baggage in case it messes up our build. I'll, I'll keep those tanks though. Oh, they're actually mostly empty. Okay, in that case, just push it into the nearest tank. we change this top one to chlorine so let's get rid of the water and that's taking its sweet time emptying I think our blueprint only has the left side though a little bit better. More. And more. Okay. Now then, blueprint. Hydrogen chloride, bigger brain. Um... I actually kind of want to remove this so that so that it'll have the connections properly done from the beginning. Let's do even distro into here. Fantastic. Now we put down our blueprint. And those chests are in the way. Whoa, okay, that's scary. That's a train. Let's turn off the input until until we're ready. That was just too fast. LTN, much too responsive. Um, I'll use the same trick to move the sand back in. Wait, what? Oh, right. There we go. Pick up the chests. Apparently I don't ha Oh, these are regular substations? In the blueprint? Oh no. Wait, it's only some of them. Okay. Is it really okay if we only have storage for two train loads of hydrogen chloride? Probably. Where did our electrolysis machines go? There we go. It looks so much more simple and neat than last time. Because it kind of is. It's just more elegant. Let's double it over here as well. Um, I kind of want to do the... Th Thing. How about 
How about we empty this side? And just... Even distro to push it all over there. And we'll do all this again. But faster. Where am I going? Copy paste the settings. Copy paste the this. Copy paste the that. Is it going to line up the same way? Maybe not. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit different, I think. How much of this can I copy paste flip? There we go. And then this part can't be flipped, but that's okay. I don't really mind. It doesn't look great, but I don't really mind this. I'll pretend that's fine. And then station like so. One of these. Oh, that actually lines up without flipping it. That makes sense, I guess. Oh no. Should we have two train stops for emptying? It's kind of slow. Uh, hydrogen chloride, 280 per second. I don't think we need double, double output. seems fine. And hydrogen chloride is connected over there, I guess. That seems okay. Um, so we need to duplicate all of these wires. Uh, let's see. One and two and three. One and two and three. And this way as well. And these should probably just be linked to be up. Wait, what? Huh? There's nothing in here. Oh, it's connected to hydro. I, I see. I see. This should go here. Hello? This should go here. Yeah, it, it should be not flipped for this part. Not quite mirrored. Because of the asymmetry of chemical plants. Oh. That's really just more storage for some of these things, which is fine. It's only really the sand uh, that needs to be physically dropped off at both stations. Seems good. Except for... Okay, that's fine. Those are all connected. And chlorine, 175k, those are all connected. That seems pretty good to me. Uh, except for the sake of... Wait, what? I can't put that to the left? Really? Why not? What's it connected to? This one. That's... different. That's a bit more symmetrical. Huh. 
Much better. All right, let's uh, not exactly update blueprint. Let's just do this. Wait, wait, wait. Station names. We copy pasted. It should be correct. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, hydrogen chloride. What if I just call it HC or something? What's the chemical name for hydrogen chloride? HCl2 or something? Whatever. You saw nothing. 86251, 86251, and I think we're done. Alright, so if I just remove that, we should be able to just copy paste that into place. Well, not copy paste, use the blueprint. HCL? Okay, cool. It's t it's completely fallen out of my head, but I remember doing chemical... Uh, chemical math, basically. It's kind of an interesting, but sometimes tedious puzzle. Compound hydrogen chloride has the chemical formula HCL, and as such is a hydrogen... allied. At room temperature, it is a colorless gas. That's not scary. Which forms white fumes of hydrochloric acid upon contact with atmospheric water vapor. Hydrogen chloride gas and hydrochloric acid are important in tech and industry. The aqueous solution of hydrogen chloride is also commonly given the formula HCl. According to the wiki, indeed. Yemo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can I get some more... I think it's electrolysis plants. There we go. The acid we generate in our stomach, really. That's looking fairly good. Am I actually four chemical plants short? I can't handcraft any chemical plants. Unless I pick up some glass, which is over there anyway. Oh, this is uh, supposed to be a lighted substation. Seems good. Can I make some pipe at least? Do we need any more underground pipe? I hope not. Nope, just chemical plants. I, I, I really will just go grab some glass, actually. Oh, glass is saturated. That's a very good sign. That is a very good sign indeed. Fantastic. Uh, chemical plants. I believe it was four missing. And how much does this give us? Oh, we can't see yet. Uh, we can double this. So at peak, 280 hydrogen chloride per second. That's if hydrogen and chlorine is supplied from outside. Uh, which it is, because there's actually a lot of chlorine we had to drop off from here. I did copy-paste this encoded network ID setting, so there shouldn't be any issue with running the chlorine around in circles. Um, this still has some storage here, though, so let's, let's drain that. And this as well. And 
hydrogen. Uh, I want to say I don't even care about the hydrogen, but it's a bit of logistics if we waste it, so let's just pump that over. Bit of wasted train trips. This pump doesn't want to empty. Encoded ID is as simple as one can provide to request one and negative one provides to all. Uh, basically, y yes and no. Okay, so negative one is the invisible default. Uh, a negative one will interact with every other station. Um, if you then give these encoded network ID one and encoded network ID two, these two stations will not interact with each other with the LTN scheduling. Um, but you can't just give it one, two, three, four, five, and so on, because it uses binary so that you can have multiple different virtual networks that a station is or isn't on. So uh, encoded network ID three would mean that it is on encoded network ID one and encoded network ID two and nothing else. Um, but apart from the binary, uh, it is as simple as that. It's If they're not on the same encoded network ID, they won't interact. It's the decimal representation of a binary number. Decimal representation? That's kind of a weird way of putting it, but uh, I guess you could say that. It's basically... Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't pick a dollies this, actually. Um, imagine this is one and this is zero. So, encoded network ID one, encoded network ID two, encoded network ID three, encoded network ID four, uh, encoded network ID 5, encoded network ID 6, uh, this would be 8, 7 is 1 plus 4 plus 2, right? Yeah, this is 7, and this is 8, and so on. So the first one's worth 1, the second one's worth 2, the third one's worth 4, the fourth one's worth 8, 16, 32, and so on. Okay. This thing is almost empty. This thing's almost empty. This is basically empty. Fantastic. Well, not as fantastic, because we want hydrogen chloride. But you get the idea. And then this still has 1.3k. Oh, it's getting slower as pumps do. Our chlorine here, on the other hand, is almost empty. Now we can go get rid of all of this nonsense. Where we had pipes bringing the chlorine across multiple rail blocks. That wasn't even connected actually. Was it never connected, or did I break it at some point? We'll never know. Uh, let me just stay on the jetpack, so I don't get run over by a train. That wasn't that complicated, but kind of a fun puzzle. Uh, I definitely think externalizing the extra hydrogen production and having chlorine able to be imported was the way to go. Oh, and it looks like we have enough hydrogen chloride to run these things. Beautiful. How much does it need? 81.6 per second. Uh, we can do way more than that theoretically, but... 
realistically, like consistently all the time without any outside inputs. 64 chlorine, 128 per second. So we could do it, exactly that, 128 hydrogen chloride per second until we prod it up. So that's actually, yeah, we should be able to keep up with this. All right, now let's get our modules in play. Yeah, our beacons and such. Um, I don't remember exactly where I decided to put these. Oh yeah, I do. Let's go get some prods before we measure out what we're going to do with the modules. I would recommend to use one of the many LTN enhancement mods that have a special combinator for LTN. Allow you to set the network ID more easily. Seems a good. We actually have 25. <laughs> Got my hopes up for a second there. We have 25 prod threes. Um, I don't suppose... Okay, I see half of RCUs in motion. That's not too discouraging. How about... It seems like we're still struggling for cargo rocket sections. Or maybe they're just more slow but more consistent now. Cargo rocket section... Uh, it's actually looking pretty consistent over, it's looking very consistent over the last hour, though you wouldn't know it if you looked at the one minute, um, graph. Yeah, that is, that is much better. It's a lot more area under the graph making cargo rocket sections lately as well. Um, so hopefully... That means we've been doing a lot better with Vulcanite, which is the main thing at this point, still. I see saturated cation beads. We're actually bottlenecked on nitric acid for making iridium ingots, which is frankly great. Uh, nitric acid... Because nitric acid is something we can get entirely from this planet. How do we make it? Hydrogen, nitrogen, mineral water. This one's actually totally saturated for the output. Do we need more trains? Why is this one not moving? Is there a, is there a problem? Or is it just traffic? Uh, I don't think we need more fluid wagons, judging by how many are sitting in the, uh, the depot right now. So there seems to be some kind of traffic issue here. And it's probably because... Oh, we found him. Remember, remember when I was looking for a train that was full of stone? that got away somewhere. We found him. Okay. Let's go to this station, empty our stone, turn it into sand, and fix the traffic jam. Is research stuck? Possibly. Oh, also, I should have done more... Huh. Wait, does the train not fit there? Beacon? I mean, not beacon. It's chain signal wise. Yeah, it thinks that... This train thinks it can't get up here. Why? Or are they just taking turns? I think we're A, playing catch-up with this Holmium mine with all the trains queued up for it, 
and B, it's just not signaled very well for good traffic flow. <laughs> that emote though. Uh, Johan Anderson, if I didn't say so. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's not path... It's not not pathing, indeed. Yeah, I've never had trouble with not pathing. Oh, unless you mean no path. Well, that's usually just because there's a signal or a bit of rail missing. It's very easy to fix. Uh, what the... Oh, you're actually dropping off. Okay. Yeah, I think we've just got a lot of traffic to sort out here. So, yeah, it's 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 fifteen percent empty now. Nitric acid has been sitting here all this time, uh, because there was a traffic issue. Not, not that there was any throughput issue. Two hundred and forty nitric acid per second. This build wants. Uh, 40 per second. I think we can probably not worry about that for a minute. There's only a few builds looking for nitric acid. Uh, let's grab some prod twos. And productivity module up our new build. Um, I think I have... nope, never mind. Chemical plants, prod twos, beacons, three speeds. We'll see how that goes. And elect, elect, where is it? Uh, electrolysis plant, two prod twos. That should be everything in this block. The chemical plants are not actually going to be under the beacons, but they're already way faster than what this build can actually keep up with. Now we're slightly... Okay, more than slightly positive on hydrogen and chlorine. Maybe I will put some beacons over here. It feels like a little bit of a waste to bother to beacon all of them. We've got seven? Yeah, we've got seven to eight machines here. I didn't notice that. Um, let me see what this ratio looks like. That's significantly more net negative. How about this? Negative five? Well, hydrogen chloride is what we actually want here, so... And we're, and we're not able to fit beacons in the middle, so let's do it like this. Did the electrolysis plants just not get the modules? Uh, they did not. Whoops. I think this is, uh... Productivity module can only be used on intermediate products. This is a recipe that doesn't allow prod modules. That's not what I was expecting. Uh, so in that case, we can put more speeds in this. Where are my speed modules? I actually didn't bring enough? Or did I bring exactly... No, we didn't put the beacons over here. Alright, let's get some more speed twos. Um, I actually do... That kind of works, because I do want to speed up the middle part of the build more relative to the rest. Oh yeah, we don't have speed twos. Oh, we do, we do. Then again, speed threes... Speed 3s are still kind of rare, because we need Imosite Crystal. Uh, it's only Efficiency 3s that we're swimming in. So we'll take Speed 2s. Oh, also, we wanted to check on Research. Research is, in fact, stopped. What is it looking for? 
Energy science. I thought we had tons of energy science. Oh, this is more than we had. Uh, I, uh, we had at least 200 stored up. So... We're actually not bottlenecking on conductivity data. It's electromagnetic field data now. And it looks like it's not stuck on resources, it's just slow. Cool. I can live with that. At this stage, I'm not overly concerned about the speed of research. We're, we're unlocking things faster than we can actually keep up with building everything. Which is the main thing. I actually need more efficiencies. Whoops. Uh, but I was going to put... No, I don't, because I was going to put more speed in here. Could I please have more space in my inventory? And did I drop something on the ground? Uh, let's just keep speeding this until it doesn't say 2.58 megawatt. Yeah, let's change that. Oh, the bots are stealing from me. To put the other efficiency modules in. Okay, if we go half and half, it's still negative 80% power. Um, I need to go get more efficiencies. I left a bunch of them in the mall. Which I don't see at a glance. There they are. My inventory is over full again. Stop giving me all this stuff. Honestly. There we go. Now then. Uh, so... Let's see how that looks. Bearing in mind I haven't put any modules in these machines yet. Uh, maybe I should just put the efficiencies in here and speeds in here or something. Uh, but what's, what's this rate look like? Still a bit negative. No, the efficiencies are stronger, so I should put those in the beacons. Yeah, now we're 4.9. Yeah, plus 40% power, that's actually really good. I have a feeling if I go one more efficiency... Um, why is this the reverse? That's so confusing. Oh my god. I have a feeling if I go 3 to 5... Oh, it's actually really, 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 really good. Positive 0.1 of each uh, fluid per second. That's fantastic, actually. Let's copy-paste that over here. And we've already got the right beacons over here. I know th those two are not ratioed, but that's okay. Um, it is actually going to mean that this is significantly positive. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't put the speeds in here. Which means we can go more efficiency. Okay, that's still negative 40% though. It only gets slightly better than that. Massively positive on hydrogen chlorine. Maybe I should just put more speeds in here. Forget about the power consumption of these ones. To some extent.
That's like less than 20% over. Way less than 10% over. 588 kilowatts on each of the chemical plants. Or these ones. Could probably live with that. Alright, cool. So, 287 hydrogen chloride per second. Um, I think we're going to be okay for a while for hydrogen chloride. Unless we actually do need multiple blocks doing this. Judging by the fact that this has 89k right now, I'm thinking the answer to that question is no. Uh, and we've actually got everything except for the crushed iridite, which is on its way. Oh good, we're actually bottlenecked on... Wait, what? What? Uh, I think my newer design... ...to allow short trains or long trains to pick this up doesn't... ...doesn't work quite the way I had in mind. We've got... The back wagon is full. The front wagon is three quarters full, and this is empty. The front wagon's bulk rail loader, and we're not pushing crushed iridite into it. Maybe I should just set it to like push it through if there's more than twenty stacks or something. I want to keep it. Fairly simple is the thing. I could always just set a higher provide threshold, provide stack threshold, um, so there'd have to be more stuff here, just sitting there not getting used for a while before the train comes and it wouldn't get stuck here like that. Have you counted wrongly? Uh, no, 40 times 40. 1600. Oh, I think I did, yeah. Good, good call. I think I thought the stack size was 50. That would actually explain why I haven't seen that problem at other places where I've done this, this kind of build yet. Should be 1600. Yeah, you're right. Jakubas, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pink pajamas, welcome also. Are all those chem plants actually connected? It didn't look like it. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are. Well, we can click here. Uh, 254k chlorine, 41k hydrogen chloride, 131k hydrogen, 42k hydrogen chloride, that's right. 251, 250, 44. 128. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's all connected. Um, looks good to me, actually. Oh, and we can find. Hey, I'm still standing here. I didn't even realize. We can finally get rid of this stuff. Now that we've pumped all that crap back in. Didn't see the undergrounds that were on the inside. Yes, they are cozily uh, snuck in right here. Fantastic. Okay. Iridium ingots are being made. It's a beautiful sight. In fact, all of the blast cake is, ha is coming in at full speed now. I think I, oh, I I think I set it so that we have too many furnaces here for now, though. Uh, to make sure that when we give them modules... I really should go give those modules. Let's do that. I'll just give them tier 2s for now.
it's more the vulcanite stuff that we're going to be bottlenecked on. But yeah, I, def I definitely don't care about speed as much as getting the most out of our inputs for these resources at this stage. Uh, let's see, chemical plants, go. And these things, I guess, can't have prods, so we don't care. As long as they can keep up with the dirty iridium water, it's fine. How's our power? It's totally fine. I can't believe I haven't even had to really think about making another nuclear plant so far. Like, just a 2x2, two two, that's all we've been running off. Not counting the million wind turbine. The wind turbine says low power? That's so weird. What the... That's kind of strange. And they're all behaving differently. That doesn't suggest to me that they're going to be good for UPS. I might have to get rid of them sooner rather than later. How much power are they producing? 117 megawatts. That's not nothing. Well, when we start getting UPS issues, we might start removing them. They just don't have consistent production. They do, though, if you mouse over them. Uh, energy output, 200 kilowatts. And if you look at the graph, it's literally just a flat line, apart from when we've added more of them, which you can basically see where we've been building more rail blocks, except for when we actually built wind turbines deliberately. Just a steady increase. Maybe you can see the update time usage in one of the debug lines, maybe. Oh, yep, and the furnaces are all getting some input now. So that was actually pretty well calculated, because they have a lot more prod module slots than these things do. Cool, cool, cool. We are creeping towards our first entire trainload of iridium ingots. Creeping towards energy control unit as well. Uh, we've also got what is going to be, for a while at least, our mall up in space. Getting ready to go. And this is where I'm going to put uh, an auto crafter. But I think we'll do that next time. We're running out of time today, and my brain is running out of... Yes. Qwas, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, what can we do... For the moment. I actually... Oh, 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 prod modules for RCUs. That's over to you. That is a big material bottleneck. Uh, where is it? Over here. Prod twos, gimme gimme, that's a lot actually, which is good because we're going to need a lot. Uh, assembly three, prod two, go. Look at that wave, very nice. Beautiful even. Oh, this is actually saturated. Oh wow. It is very saturated. Also, let's not use this old T equals zero build. Uh, 40 times one, sorry, one, 10 times 40 rocket control units. Uh, let's see. 
if rocket control unit greater than or equal to 400, push it to the front. I can't believe RCUs are totally saturated. That, that changed so quickly from just having them empty all the time. Are we keeping up? Like, we've got the... We're not we're not resource bottlenecked now, but are we keeping up with all of our cargo rockets? It looks like the answer's yes. Everywhere I look, uh, we have cargo rocket sections. I know that I buried my head in some design work for a while, but I'm actually shocked at how quickly that has turned around. That's fantastic. So... Not a single resource was ever not saturated ever again? Are we actually going too slow with the core fragments now? 8.8 .8 per second? Uh, we might be. I, I think we are. I think we actually have to add more Vulcanite core processing as opposed to make, uh, as opposed to making rockets launch more often. Uh, what am I searching for? Vulcanite core fragment. No, I was looking for the mines. I'm counting them. Entity. We've got four. Four times this. 19 points. Oh, because our productivity bonus increased as well. 19.65 Vulcanite core fragments per second. We actually are bottlenecking on this now. So let's go give that some modules. Uh, some beacons, that is. Might be worth spending some of our relatively rare speed modules. And I think we already gave them prod threes. Can you show Nalvis? Uh, sure. Let me just fly over and give these things some bake it. Bake it? Basic beacons first. It's just down this way. Um, yes, I did leave room for the basic beacons. What a good fit. Oh, wait. No, I take it back. Oh, no. I need exactly these tiles to make this cover up all of them. Anyway, let's speed them up. Um... I could probably just... Well, this was actually kind of a problem to figure out how to make it fit. Uh, for, this, for this moment, I'll just add some more beacons. It's fine. Let's see how fast this is. We're really wasting a bit of power with that, but I want to check... Uh, I don't have any more speeds. Uh, I just want to check if we don't need to double this build yet. Do I not have a lighted substation? No. Oh. oh, I think the... Well, no, I am not carrying one, but also construction brought brought one for some reason. Anyway, uh, that would be able to deal with 72 core fragments per second. I think that would be more than enough, actually. Uh, let's give it some efficiencies as well. How's that? Plus 280% power consumption. Uh, plus 100%. Um, what was the speed on before? 
negative 80%, and this is negative 60%. I think we need a couple of speeds. Let's see how that looks. 24 Vulcanite core fragments per second. That's pretty good. And what about the processing of Vulcanite? We are net positive on it, so we need to speed this up. That's tolerable. JP, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Net 2.12 Vulcanite per second. I can probably live with that. And we're able to consume all of the Vulcanite core fragments. Cool, cool. Uh, Nalvis, you say? This is Nalvis. Well, this is our main base, main, main bus base from Nalvis, which was our second starter base. Our first starter base uh, included this sad little spaghetti over here. Uh, this is where we died because we teleported back from uh, from editor extensions land on the wrong force, and we got killed by our own gun turrets because for some reason, well not for some reason, if you are in a spaceship that disappears, i.e. The, the surface that it was on disappears because it arrives somewhere else automatically, while you're in editor extensions, and then you try to come back to the world. Uh, it doesn't find a surface, so it teleports you physically back into the editor extension space. And then you try the one thing that comes to mind to get out of it, which is uh, respawn. And then you respawn on Nalvis at the start point, but you're not on the same force as your own gun turrets. That's fun. Uh, we have a bit of a dry run of rail blocks over here as well. Didn't expand that much before we finally got going to Hagen. That's amazing indeed. Uh, you can see I've actually cleared the biters out quite a lot. That's because at first we were playing with uh, the rampant pod, which makes the bots much more dangerous. Um, however, unfortunately, due to UPS reasons and nothing else, uh, we eventually had to remove them from the game very suddenly because the UPS literally went from 60 to about 20 in less than a minute. Um, I'm not sure why. I suppose it has something to do with... Uh, every single biter on the planet being told to attack? I can only guess. Nervous is still working well enough to keep sending us stuff, so there's that. Core fragment processing is still ticking along. Very, very nice. How did you solve that problem? Uh, which problem? The, uh, the biters? The UPS problem? That was just turning off the Rampant mod. It, it doesn't have any adverse effects on your save. Uh, but yeah, really nice to see a constant flow of Vulcanite here. Uh, we could probably give these prod 2s. Let's do that. Assuming we have enough on us, which we actually do. Fantastic. How fast can this process? It was way too fast for this before. Let's see. 20 crushed Vulcanite per second. And we should expect 25 crushed Vulcanite per second. I, I'm okay with that. I'd rather see everything saturated all the time. 
generally. And then for Vulcanite blocks, we need... We, we massively overbuilt this. Uh, it can actually consume 96 enriched per second. Uh, not to mention a whole lot of crushed. 48 crushed per second. We're able to make 11 enriched per second. Let's upgrade the modules over here as well, which I don't have a shortcut for yet. Pulverizer, bug two, and a goat. That's not a pulverizer. Uh, furnace, industrial, bug two, and a go. And it looks like we have enough for this as well. Although, really, I should be using Prod 3s and getting rid of several of these machines. The fact that you respawned on the wrong force? Oh, um, we just had to... We just had to load a previous save, that's it. So, pro tip, if you're going to use this uh, separate surface uh, parallel to your game using editor extensions, and you're going to ride in a spaceship, uh, for the love of not respawning on a different force from your own gun turrets, make sure you switch off the auto clamp so that you manually have to kill it to land when you get to your destination. Otherwise just don't do it while you're riding a spaceship. So your Nalvis is just buildings hub? Yeah, um, we abandoned Nalvis as was always the plan. For a few reasons. Uh, but I would say the most important one is, as far as I'm concerned, is late game when we have spaceships. The travel distance, uh, the travel distance inside the system is not insignificant. It's not like real space or anything where the travel distance in here is minuscule compared to the distance from here to here. Uh, if you're going from Calidus to Calmea, um, the travel time spent going from Nalvis to the edge of the solar system where it exits to the interstellar map is actually quite a lot. Um, and this is only exacerbated when we're going to take advantage of an anomaly later on, which is equally an equally short distance away from every interstellar destination. So we're going to travel to that anomaly and then to our actual destination, pick up some stuff, go back to the anomaly, and then go back to our main base uh, to drop off resources. Um, so given that, we want to absolutely minimize the travel time from here to our main base. And short of setting up on the anomaly for our main base, that's as short as it gets. But the anomaly doesn't have a planet surface, um, which we need for productivity bonuses. Let's add a new feature, adding giant engines to planets slash moons, <laughs> allowing them to move through the solar system. I mean, you could, but the scale of... Uh, what's the word? The, the scale of delta V that you would have to apply, or well, the amount of force that you would need for, for a little bit of delta V, would be gargantuan to say the least. Interesting, haven't got to ships yet. Ships are a lot of fun. I really like the ships, because they are a whole design process. It's not like a train where you just slap in the fuel and it works. Um, you actually have to design the whole thing. And those are Vulcanite blocks. Let's see what our Vulcanite block production looks like over the last few hours. Oh, wow. Yeah? Those are getting closer together, I guess. Uh, we had some big spikes 
10 hours ago, well, in the last 10 hours, probably because of the occasional um, cargo rocket that came back with um, Vulcanite core fragments. But I think it's going to be a lot more consistent in the near future. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. Okay. Let's find someone to raid for today. What do we got? Vitu Vitamina. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Immo is doing SE. Andy Gaming is also doing SEK2. I've dropped in on him a few times. Immo a couple of times. And in terms of SEK2, there's really not much else. Oh, wait. K2 SE. Alright. This is someone new. We're going to give them a go. Let me just make sure we can actually raid and chat without following and those sorts of things. Looks so good. Nothing if you nukes or antimatter bombs can't solve. In my playthrough, I went with local refinement because shipping ingots is easier than raw ores. Yeah, I know that. It's just, I, I want the outposts to be as small as possible, especially later on. Thanks for the stream, thanks for hanging out. Evil Plum, Bat Boy Not So Slim, take care, thanks for hanging out. And everyone else as well. Uh, check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're all into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with Terraria Don't Dig Up. Uh, hopefully this time can shake the rust off and kill Duke Fish Run again, otherwise I might have to give up and play it like a normal person. Um, and a couple of days after that we'll be continuing with XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. Uh, it's been going ridiculously well so far, overall. Uh, fingers crossed, well, I, I don't want to say I wonder who's going to get clapped first, but it has to happen eventually, probably. Almost definitely. Anyway, take care, guys. Ah. T-Hex, thank you very, very much for the... <laughs> wow, I just started... <laughs> 